So sad. So sad. Wait. I haven't played this yet. Wait, I haven't played this yet. I haven't- Wait, did I just spoil myself? Wait, 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 wait. I- Wait, I haven't played- I thought it wouldn't show me CGs I didn't have. Um. Um. I, I thought it was- I thought it wouldn't show me stuff I don't have already. Oh my god, I just spoiled myself. <laughs> I haven't finished chapter four yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I haven't played four yet. I want to play it on stream. I just haven't found time. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe I just leaked myself. Anyways, I love Regulus. <laughs> I love, I love, love, love Regulus. I just wanted to see if I could see the Kala cutscenes or the, 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 the Kala stuff. I just want, I wanted I want to see the I want to see the pretty art. That's I just want to see the pretty art. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's do our dailies real quick. If it had not been the annoying shadows, I love Regulus's voice. It's so funny sounding. Like she just sounds like such a stereotypical British person. Same way you told the other person about Jing Lu and Blade scene. The game came out last October. This is your own fault. Shut up! I'm allowed to do what I want. I'll play it eventually, I promise. Regulus Alchemist. I don't know the. Oh, no, not that one. Alright, we're gonna do this real quick. Alright, guys, this is why I love reverse, okay? Are you ready? Are you guys ready for this? There's a replay button. This trial is mine. It just replays. You already convinced yourself I did it offline. I did play all like the rest of 1.2 offline just because I really like that. I really like the event. It's replay and 3x speed. Well, isn't it 2x speed? They didn't add another speed option, did they? I love the auto button. I don't really use the actual auto button. I mainly, I like the replay button a lot. Oh, it's faster than two? Oh my God, they're amazing. Okay, now I know why I don't listen to the regular song very often. It actually gets stuck in my head forever. It, it never stops. I'm gonna have Regulus there for like at least like the next three hours. Your reactions kill me when you just scroll down being Mina to wait a minute. What? I didn't notice it was a spoiler until it was a spoiler, you know? Cause I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. I haven't seen the CG before. One moment, huh? Right hand up and left hand up. I know. I, I okay. Yeah. Uh, feedback for the reverse devs. Um, can we have like a rotating person in front, like on the home screen, because I I I can't remove Regulus out of pure principle where I need to have her as my number one, but I want to see the other characters so I can also click them. But I I I I just I I can't I can't take her off my home screen. It's illegal. So I need there to be like a rotating one where I put like an amount of characters and and it can just it can scroll between them because I want to be able to put Kala and I can't because Regulus is here. You know? Isn't that Regulus skin paywall? It's nice. It's pretty. And I wanted it. Listen. 
Regulus is my favorite character. Of course I'm gonna get her paid skin. Okay? Of course I'm gonna get her paid skin. Who do you think I am? And you know what other skin I got? I got Sothebees. Is Sothebee one of my favorite characters? No. But it's a cute skin, so I got it. Alright? It does nothing for the character other than make them look cute. Okay? Alright? Let me, let me let my characters look cute. Okay, and look at the current skins, you guys. Look at the current skins. Listen, 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 listen. You would be... you'd Oh, yeah, right here. You would be just like... Look at Pickles. Look. Look at this Pickle skin. Look. Yeah, 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 exactly. You would get him too. And then Tenet as well. Oh, wait, guys, let me show you. Let me show you, Tenet. Hold on. Hold on, chat. I know I, you guys, but you guys will enjoy this. Good day, my lord. You're too kind visiting me. And I regret to receive you in a room of nothing. Let me, let me just let me quickly get her to portrait. Ahem. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Chat, chat, chat. If that's not reason enough to download this game, I don't know what is. I don't know what is if this isn't enough. Yeah. Yeah. What choking? There's no choking happening there. And look. Look at her. Look at her. Look at my little meow meow. She's so cute. Guys, she's so cute. I, I want to cry every time I look at Regulus. I think Regulus is like the cutest thing ever. Like, she's literally so adorable. Rock, rock, rock. I love the shade of blue, too. It's such a nice shade. Oh, God, I love her. You ever just spend just to get a single copy? You even had to spend just to get a single copy of Regulus? Um, excuse me. I have I2. Okay. All right. Know your place. She said I too. Or portrait too, whatever, you know? Was she your first six star? No. Lilia was my first six star. I got her on standard. And then I got Sothebi off of No, I got no, I got Lilia off of beginner. I got Sothebi off of standard, and then the next ten pull, I got Regulus. Not much. I I got I got very lucky actually. I need to get Kana up or Kala up. Just the time I expected. Be my guest, timekeeper. Oh my gosh, she wants me so bad, bro. Guys, she's like, the characters are so pretty. Like, and I love Melania. She's, she's so, like, you know, like, Joker-coded. And then Tooth Fairy, we love Tooth Fairy here. Look at her, I want her to eat me. In Vienna, a uh, Voyager. <laughs> Voyager, Voyager. Wrong name. Wrong name came out. Wrong name came out. Very similar designs, though. Very similar. I feel like it's the air vents. It's the air vents. But yeah, yeah. Voyager. Voyager's very pretty. I really like her. Her eye too, as well. Speak. DK. I like how this is her signature. Oh, so to be baby, my baby, so to be. All right. Oh, yeah, I only I2 Druva so I could get the hot, uh, the hot version of her. <laughs> Can you imagine? No, Jessica. I tried to get Jessica, okay? 
I I tried my little my 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 hardest my 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 little heart tried and I tried and I spent all my gems and it, and I and I lost to a knight. Okay, I I lost the 50-50 and I wasn't gonna spend, so I, I I took the L. I took the L. I'll get Jessica on rerun. I'm so sad. Now I can never have a Jessica and Jennifer team. Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, no, I didn't mean to click this. Oh, just in time. All right, let's finish the story, you guys. <clears throat> I have to get my reading voice on. Let me sit up so I can do a proper reading session for you guys. Do you guys like when when I go into my reading voice versus my normal voice? I feel like they sound different. <clears throat> Crowded by these many people, the old house seems even shabbier. The five of them sit around a piece of furniture that can barely be used as a table. The awkwardness surrounds them like a naughty bird. Thank you so much for your understanding, Mr. Sharma and Miss Buanish. Ah, please, madam. You have my admiration for voluntarily taking care of these Let me kids. Turn off the game. Besides, technically speaking, this room doesn't belong to me anymore. But to my sister Kumar, I wish I could leave the house to you for future use. Oh no! My table! It's broken! I love Shemaine. He gestures for Kala Buana. But you heard what the lady said. I don't even know if the house will survive the meteor. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I might be stereotypical, but I love that this game lets the VA speak in accented English. I love that about this game. Truly, truly. Okay, like, okay, guys, honestly, honestly. Like, one of the things I think that makes Reverse special is the fact that these characters, like, when they're speaking in a certain language, like, they're canonically speaking in that language. So, when Shemaine is talking to himself, he'll be speaking in, um, in Hindi. When, when, um, Matilda talks to herself, she will be talking in French to herself because she is talking to herself. And normally she just has a very thick French accent. I love that like they would come to like when they're together, they'd speak English because they are canonically speaking English. But when they're talking to themselves, they're just talking in their natural language and like what would be their literal language. Like it's so like I love it. It's awesome. This is probably not the best time for a sense of humor. Everyone in the room falls into silence. The coming crisis makes them heavy in mind. They sit on the dusted ground. Shemaine magically takes out several ceramic cups from his luggage. This is the latest batch of Darjeeling tea. How's the audio, Some by the way? Some gave it to me when I went across their village. Ah, careful. It's hot. He touches a cup to feel its temperature and passes out the cups one by one. Matilda snatches Kanjira's cup angrily. <laughs> I love Matilda. <gasps> you twine on it together? You've been lying to me all this time? <laughs> I love Matilda. She's like, point. She's point. How dare you? How dare you betray me? Sacre bleu! Viva la Matilda! Hey, quiet before Mr. Jao. You don't lose anything, my lady. Please forgive me, will you? Now pass me cookies. I need to fill my belly and get to work. <laughs> my apologies, Bisharja. I know oh this God, is Kana, a uh, Kala. Guys, Kala, why is she beautiful? I, I, why is she so beautiful? Like genuinely, genuinely. This like, she's such a pretty character. I, I, I keep talking about it, but she's just so pretty. Kala Buana takes out her files again. She has carefully prepared herself to persuade the others. 
and the details are yet to be verified. But her valuable time is running out. The last thing we should do is keep on waiting. Um. Erm. Um. Her gaze sweeps the difficult and obscure data in words. Galabona. Her face suddenly brightens up. My, I think I know this name. I've read the paper co-authored by you and, uh, Professor Himani. Huh? You've read my paper? Uh, yeah. I'm studying in a public university in Chandigarh. I get to learn a lot of new stuff there. I had a whim to study astronomy before, and I remember reading it in a periodical. She's like, oh my god, you read my stuff? She gesticulates at the paper. Gesticulates? I know gestures is probably the, the more accurate word. It means to point slash gesture. Okay. That's what it sounds like. But it's just, yeah. Yes, I'm sure. It's the same. Oh my god, they even do the head bob. This part and this part. I've read them in your paper, but um, this one on the side, I don't know anything like it. It's okay. That one involves the knowledge of Arcanum. Knowledge of Arcanum. Kala Buana relaxes a bit. Anyway, this is good news. No. I mean, Great as a unit news. in the game win. Bro, so if I could voice act in this game, I would love to. I, I would 100% be down for that. Hey, reverse team. If you need a spunky... If you need a spunky American on the roster... Um, maybe we can have someone from the 20th century, 21st century even, who is a streamer. Um, I, I would, I would love to. I think, I think I could, I, I could, I could be an interesting casting choice. Oh, I take care of the kids here in my spare time. Most of them are humans, but there are arcanists too. I see. So, what are you going to do now? Her question contains both confusion and worry. I know the top priority is to evacuate the villagers. But we don't have much time, since the Deepa festival will start in less than four days. Besides, things are complicated in this village. Why are they complicated? She frowns at the thought. This could be tricky. Most of them, <laughs> including me, had moved to Chandigarh. And the rest of them... <sighs> I've heard about that on the way here. Most villagers are reluctant to leave no matter Get what ready say. everyone. Meena is about to start her employment arc. Arcanists. But shame it didn't work at all. I've been in my employment arc, excuse me. The silver lining is, we have the helping hand of Ms. Boanish. She will try to make contact with the Foundation as soon as possible. But we still need to evacuate every villager we can. We know almost nothing about Kumar's plan now. Not I can't believe that she's working with not her like Kumar is working with 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 the um oh shit I forgot the name um with our, basically Arcana. The ice has been broken between them, but their moods have not yet lightened. Menace Vindicte, thank Relax. you. Relax. For now, we have two solutions to the problem. God, he's so real. Relax. Shemaine raises both of his hands, palms up. First, let's find my clever evil sister, <laughs> astronomer friend. I love and him. Figure out a way to stop the meteor, or spread the word and tell everyone to take the earliest train 
and leave the impact area. It's hard to be optimistic given the situation, but at least there is something we can do to reduce the damage. But if we continue to sit around waiting, the situation will only worsen. Come, let's think. Bushes and weeds grow throughout the yard. Matilda finds a relatively open area, taking out a silver device from her pocket with great caution. Serja and Kanjira, the two people who are the most familiar with the village, have set out to evacuate the villagers. Inside the house, Shemaine and Kalabwana are, tur are turning the room into a cloud of dust to find any possible clues about Kumar. The only quiet place left for Matilda to perform her duty as Foundation Investigator is a long, deserted yard. Genial! Il est finalement utile! Oh my god, the French is coming out! Ho ho ho, croissant! SPF-1 portable contact device activated. Welcome. What kind of device is this? What, what, what kind of device is this? What is this? That's not a computer. Arcane skill verification activated. Please make sure you are not equipped with any wands. Read out the random incantation displayed on the screen clearly. Make sure your tone remains stable. <laughs> Fuego! Burn! <laughs> she just sounds so French. I can't... I can't, like... She just... She just feels so French. Fuego! Burn! Verification success. Registered user Matilda Buanish. Access level D. Damn, only D. No abnormal arcane skill fluctuation detected in the area so far. Level D access only supports quick report. Hmm? Accès insuffisant. La description dit. Oh. Donc seul un enquêteur peut Dang. avoir accès à ce système. Alors, à quoi ça sert de le transporter partout Je pensais que ce serait utile je pour les urgences. Non, cela signifie-t-il que je vais rater l'occasion d'étudier l'énergie céleste en plus de gâcher ma chance de capturer le Manus Manus How did she say... How did she say it like that like, it, it was so French. Ah, uh, Mizzy, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Hi, hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome in, Raiders. Hi, hello. My name is Mina. What's up? I'm playing. I'm playing Reverse 1999, which is which is a which is a gacha game. It's a it's a it's a Yuri it's a Yuri gacha game. I know. I see a Yuri raid message. I see it with Bloom into you. I see you. I'm perceiving you. Shh. Ignore the <laughs> Ignore that part. But welcome in everyone. I hope you had an awesome stream. Uh, my name is Mina. I'm currently doing a uncapped subathon, so I, I I'm here for seventy more plus seventy plus more hours. But but welcome in everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's pretty good. I hope you had an awesome stream. And please please go get you know water and rest. And here's a kazoo. Here's a kazoo for you guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> You go there was a kazoo for you and i hope you i hope you guys uh, enjoy enjoy i want to i want to we, we need to we need to finish hearing hearing our lovely little french girl matilda when she says a menace la reception est terrible ici comment est-ce que je vais entrer en contact avec la fondation fondation oh that doesn't sound like any progress. God, Shemaine's design is so cool. And what I have here is only books. Books and books and books. Nothing else. Nothing but books. Calf feeding and management. Is oh, my sister. The character designs? Okay, guys, hold on. Let me let me shill reverse 1999 for a second. Listen, listen. 
I know this stream is sponsored, but I'm speaking genuinely from the soul, all right? Okay? The voice acting in this game, phenomenal. They stay true to whatever regions these characters are from. So, like, Shemaine, Kala, they're from India. They are literally speaking Hindi. And then, like, like Matilda, who's French, whenever she's talking to herself, she's literally speaking in French. And then they all have, like, accented English when they're talking to each other because canonically they're, just, they're speaking English. Like, it's so good. It's so freaking good. Hey, Matilda, if you like... There should be the last two pieces of Plera J on the table. Yeah, Lydia speaks Remember Russian. Have them with tea, or it's going to hurt your Regulus is an obnoxious and British person. Beautiful voice. Kanjira was ecstatic about those cookies. She even took three pieces with her when she left. I hope that kind human girl would get to the train station safely with those kids. Now, let's take a look at you. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, and there's a six-star dog. His name is Pickles. He's the goodest boy. Is this the stone Kumar left to you? Ooh. Kalabwana carefully parts the stone. An idol emerges from it. Vishnu? Brahma creates. Shiva exterminates. And Vishnu safeguards the balance of the world, lying on the ocean of stars. <sighs> According to the materials, well, maybe I should explain it with mythologies for non-researchers. They mention three idols, but Vishnu's is the only one left, so she must have taken the other two. Perhaps it's proof that Kumar abandoned the path of maintaining the balance in the first place. That mural there. She said the mythology on it has been passed on in her family. <sighs> That's true. I've recited that story at least 20 times. But the part on the mural, to be honest, it feels so out of place to me. It was more like foisted into those well-known myths. Like, um, a pair of ox horns on a horse's head. The comparison brings a smile to Kalabuana's face. But she shakes her head. An unusual metaphor. But actually, it plays a significant part in connecting all the mythologies we know. These mythologies are the primary material of our research. We've been trying to prove human science with basic arcanum theory. In fact, there is a connection between them, and they can support each other. She sighs. If arcanists and humans could get along, I suppose the world would have developed faster than it does now. Sensing Shemaine's confusion, Kalabuana pauses to reorganize her language. Yes, it's layman's turn, queen. To it through, but in short, there is another universe in the shape of an egg affecting reality. We call it the meditator's realm. Just like our daily dreams, you can enter it once you fall asleep. But that's not how we do it. We connect part of our gnosis with the realm through a special kind of meditation. It's not as easy as it sounds. One huh? needs to either master the meditation skills like we do, or use a special medium as an anchor. She raises her hand, showing the Vishnu idol to them. Some mythologies are the original translation of the realm, an existence that cannot be observed through the methods in this world, can be located as long as it is included in mythology. That's how we located that star. Sadly, if we can't prove its existence with data recorded by human technology, our discovery is useless. I'm surprised. For all this time, she has never given up on studying the old Arcanum tale of our family. You can even say she's fanatic about it. It's just... Kalabuana frowns. Indeed, we can do a lot of supernatural things in the realm. If your mind is calm or your anchor is strong enough, you can even do whatever you want. But it's limited inside there. 
Remember I said it's like our daily dreams? Just think of it as a controllable one. Everything in the realm is created based on reality. In other words, it's nothing but a mirror. And the images in a mirror can never affect reality. It's impossible to bring anything into the realm. Not to mention taking anything out. But the statues in the cave actually exist in this world. They are tangible. What whoa. What whoa. That means she's gone much further than I do. She mastered a method I'm not aware of. What bewilders me is her arcane skill. How did she do that if not for the Manus's help? Oh, come on. She also knows that cave a lot better than I do, right? Shemaine goes to the book pile on the other side of the room and casually opens the underground survival guide on top. We never hung out much. How long did she stay in the village on her last visit? A month maybe? Or two weeks? I'm not sure. I even crushed her glasses by accidentally sitting on them. Those are the same glasses you have on your belt. He crushed her glasses? Bro, did you pay for replacements? At that time, I thought she was a distant relative I don't know of. After all, it's rare to meet someone so clever and open-minded in this village. I even lent this room to her. <sighs> this was my secret basement, you know. But only after we parted did my father tell me that she's my sister. The daughter they sent away for lack of Arcanum talent. I do remember those days roughly. Back then, I couldn't find her in the institution. I was all alone for a long time. What happened to her has inevitably affected me. I grew more and more rebellious against the family rules. Well, to be fair, like, it's not Shemaine's fault. He didn't know his parents kicked her out. Like, well, like, I guess he knew, but he was, like, too young because he was, like, the younger brother. But, like, it's not his fault, like, his parents kicked her out for not having, like, magic. It's like a story full of cliches. Giving up the training, refusing to listen to my father, skipping all the practice I could possibly avoid. I didn't want to be the blockhead hedged by the so-called family heritage. Of course, at the end of the story, I paid my price for breaking away. He raises the rough prosthesis and stops turning the pages. But I think for her, it is even harder to break free. It is even harder to break free. Oh, is that dumb? I guess her plan is to invite me over to this dump full of bad memories. And swoosh, boom. Smash all the annoyances with a star. Swish, boom. Hmm. That's a solemn ending. Pity the ones she hates are all gone now. Kala Buana, uh, Buana takes the photo from him. But how come you're invited too? Did you upset her as well? <laughs> Did you upset her as well? Hmm. That's a good point. Hatred could be the most likely reason. Actually, we didn't get along well after we left the university. Oh? Kala Buana touches the girl in the photo with her fingertip. Are they... I was under the impression that Kumar was a lot older than Kala. Am I wrong? Are they the same age? Ever since our identities as arcanists were exposed, we couldn't stay in the institution anymore. That's also the beginning of her... Okay, she is older, right? Okay, yeah. I always thought that on the way to proving myself, ourself, we were each other's only friend and best partner. How could I finish my study in a campus full of humans without her? The small idol in her palm is a bit cool to the touch. But then my mind was changed. Her voice lowers. I wouldn't have connected Kumar with the man as Vindicte if Amani's words were all I heard. 
But I know that was not the first time they made contact. You mean... Yes. I don't know the reason, but the Manus has contacted her long ago. She gave them the cold shoulder at the time. But I knew something inside her had changed. Soon after that, she left me, taking all the materials with her. I know the only thing I can do to meet her again is keep walking on the way to study that celestial body. That will lead me to her one day. As I said, we could frequently feel the existence of each other from the changes of the celestial body. But she could always find more information than I do, because the traces left by Arcanum are more obvious than those left by science. This connection between us conveyed my belief to her that one day we would meet again as colleagues. I just didn't expect that this would be the final outcome of my observation, or that we would end up on the opposite sides. Guys, Kala's so pretty. Hmm. Can there be any lamer stories to tell than these two? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Shemaine! You can't just say that! Shemaine, you- Sir, you- you can't say that! Oh my god! For now, we can't find more. Oh my god, Queen, ignoring him. Go to the shrine again. How much do you remember the myth of your family? As I just said, that. Oh. <laughs> A genius you are, Matilda. I love her. I love Matilda. <laughs> Running and jumping around with hot tea. I sure know the fun within. But at my age, with the benefit of hindsight, I have to tell you to be careful. Aww. You might get burned by the tea. Aww. He's so sweet. No, no, it's the spice. The spice in the tea. Oh, the spice. More spice to it? Hmm. I do have a dozen kinds of different spices with me. Looks like you are very oh, used oops. to them in tea. Exactly. Tea spices. What? What? What about tea spices? Matilda pats herself on the chest proudly. <laughs> now it's time for Matilda to show. I love Matilda. Viva la Matilda, man. FIFA la Matilda. French and they realize God. <laughs> it has cardamom and cinnamon. You also have clove blossom here. Fantastic. Um, I don't think I can buy Matilda skin unless I. Oh, I guess if I get the battle pass. Kalabuana picks up a transparent blue crystal to look at it. The crystal divination. I've spent too much time in the human world to remember the convenience of Arcanum. If I can foresee any sign about Kumar, our problem will be ended. With the help of the great Matilda, of course. The great Matilda. <laughs> okay, take a deep breath. Give me your hands. Press them on top of mine. Yes, like that. Now, think of Kumar in your head. Oh, what's going on? <sighs> Sorry, not to be a simp. I really like Gala. Okay, the glasses. Hmm? Uh, odd. Oh, we're back at the train station. <gasps> huh? What? What is this? Is that the train station? Wait, why, why the train station? Instead of showing the sign as usual, 
The fog in the orb grows unexpectedly. It surges and gathers into a mass of black slime. Um. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. We, we have experience with this. Matilda snaps open her eyes. The manners already reached more punk. What whoa? What whoa? What do you mean to be continued? This is some serious this is some serious stuff happening right now. Erm. Um. Are we already at a boss fight? I don't think it's a boss boss fight. It's probably gonna be like a minor fight. Usually like 17 or 18 has like the boss fights, you know? Hurry up, Ajur. Bring those guys too. Take the tuk tuk to the train station. Tuk -tuk. Get in a few spots in my caravan. I don't think our is Ar gonna show up. Why would the big bad show up right now, you know? No, wait. Where's Sharja? What took her so long? Wasn't she with you? She... I saw her. Went to the other side of the village. Over there? I remember... That's... <laughs> Sir, please, please trust me. Oh, they're not believing her. She wobbles her head while begging with sincerity. You have to convince your father. It's not like before. <sighs> Sherja, it's not that I don't want to talk to my father. Oh my god, where's his eyeballs? He bends over to place the candle before the stairs, lining it up ne near, uh, neatly with the other candles. You have come to me, I don't know, so many times. Father has already scolded me several times for letting Gina learn all those unorthodox stuff from you. You know, those human books. His eyebrow furrows, and his face grows red with anger. You can see, even Gina's mother has no help in the kitchen now. I even have to prepare the candles for Deepa Festival myself. No matter what you say, I'm not taking your advice this time. You would better leave before my father comes out. You know how mad he gets when he sees a human. Damn. See, like, how cool is it that they literally talk in Hindi? बस Oh. The old man snatches the broom from the next door. No one pays attention to the running steps coming from afar. Uji, stop him! Kanjira! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Kanjira. Kanjira squeezes in between them and confronts the old villager like an upright snake ready to attack. Boom. <laughs> Bate Katerehete ho, Arcane Sorin Stanoke Bareme. 
रहो यहीं अगर रहना है तो शरजात तुम सबको बचाने की कोशिश कर रही है पर कोई सुनना नहीं चाहता गिरने दो उल्का पिंड को ताकि तुम सब कुचल जाओ उसके नीचे पॉप ऑफ क्वीन चलो मुझे माफ कर दो ये तो Without saying another word, Kanjira seizes Serja's arm and drags her away. Uh, Kanjira, stop! Don't pull me. It hurts. Kanjira makes a sudden stop. Her chest is pumping up and down with anger. She is always mean to you and bullying you. Why you must look for trouble? Kanjira. Aww. After all the things you do for them, how can they treat you like that? Just leave them alone. Come with me. I still have your spot on my caravan. The time for entering and exiting the trains at the station is the same every day. I remember it well. There will be a train leaving here soon. There's still time. Kanjira, take a deep breath and listen to me. Serja becomes conscious of her student's emotions. She bends down to the level of Kanjira's eyes, shaking her arms to reassure her. I know you said all those things to them for me, and I appreciate that. But think about it. If I treat them just the same way they treated me, just stand by and watch them head to death. Georgia chooses her words carefully, as patient as she used to be in every English class. Even if I'm doing this out of understandable fury, how would it make me any different to them? <gasps> Volunteering to help you, and, in your opinion, risking my life to save them, we are all out of my own will. Hatred doesn't end itself, Kanjira. It has to be ended by someone. Kanjira stares at her teacher's face in confusion. Slowly, she lowers her eyes and looks down at her feet. I, I, I don't understand. Do I? Do, do we mean nothing to you? Oh! How come? What gave you such an idea? You are my most precious children. All of you are my treasures. This is not the first time you prefer they over we. You always put they first when there's a problem. Oh, Kanjira! She knows well that Serja should not be blamed for this. But this doesn't relieve her of that bitterness. Oh, Kanjira. Wait, this is so sad. I I am not able to read, but I'm not a kid now. If I can, I don't want to be an arcanus too. <laughs> so me, you, and Ajat is the same. Ah, oh, she's crying. They have no time for this. Kanjira struggles to choke back the tears, but she's overwhelmed by the fear of losing Shurja. Kanjira, don't cry, Kanjira. So you've been thinking. Oh, little one, you're just like us. We are your family. No, you don't understand, Bisharja. <laughs> Enough talk. Maybe I don't understand any of your lectures, but you can't stay here. <sighs> Aww. I'm sorry, Kanjira. Shurja has never found it so difficult to refuse someone. I have to admit they're... unreasonable. But as I said, we should put that aside now. It's a matter of life, Kanjira. I can't. Kanjira feels her stomach churning due to the bitterness, urging her to act on impulse. You... you is not listening to me at all! Fine. Be a savior and go. We leave here on our own. No. Conjurer. 
Church's hand only lands on empty air. Kinjira runs away and disappears from her sight. She leans on the steering wheel, sobbing. The caravan stops at the train station, which seems out of place in the small village. Uh oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. No. Oh no. Oh no. I hear the music. Kun, it's not Sara. Kun. The terrifying masked monsters are staggering among the stone pillars in the train station. Nahi, Ajad, Sanaji. Oh, boss, it hurt. Yaha Sarakshat, Yaha Jao. A smart head pokes out from behind the pillar. She quickly sneaks through the station on tiptoes without being noticed. Ooh, that guitar in the background is nice. Ajar seems to be thinking of something. He can't help but shiver. Oh. Hey, Ajar, you're the one talking. As he shrinks in fear, something drops out of his pocket. No. A silver bracelet bounces briskly on the floor on the floor. The slight noise is thundering in the quiet station. Sahi me in sub cheezo ki tumhe is waqt koi zarurat hai? Oh god. Bravo! Oh no. A sharp rune grazes Kanjira's shoulder, leaving a deep wound. Oh no! What's this? What's this little snake gonna do? Another rune flashes across her ankle. Kanjira loses her balance and falls to the ground. Oh yeah, Matilda. Viva la Matilda! I didn't even know I could make that noise with my throat. I'm not gonna lie. As Kanjira looks up, the first thing that comes to her tearful, blurry sight is a head with milky blonde hair. There are people over here. Let's take her first. Oh my god. I love Kala. 
This place is soon going to be dangerous. I know a place. It's close to here. Come, take them this way. You dirty, filthy, less than elegant mugs. Matilda won't even sweat bringing you down. <laughs> I love Matilda so much. Time to fight. Well, I already have a pretty goaded team, so we're gonna use that. I can't wait anymore. Cast debuff incantations three times. Well, oh, I feel like I'm gonna kill them before I can do that. So I'm gonna focus on not doing debuffs. Or I'm not attacking. That's one. We have a buff, not a debuff. Goodbye. Okay, I need to get some debuffs. Okay. We're gonna debuff. Um, I have to be careful with Regulus, because Regulus just destroys. Rock, rock, rock! Change the world! Rock, rock! Change the world! All right, one more debuff. Come on. Oh, no, we didn't get any debuffs. Oh. We'll, we'll shuffle. We'll shuffle the cards. Ooh, this music is really good. You know. Come on, debuff. Let's go. Don't All right, now regulars can murder. Are you ready to shake? Are you ready to be blinded? Are you ready to be blinded? They're just little games. They're just little games. Are you ready to shake? Are you ready wow, to really shake? Great. 14k on that poor enemy. Listen, my regulus is a little goaded. Just like a just 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 like a little bit. Like a little goaded. Oh, my call is not leveled up. I need to play the game so I can get mats uh, so I can level her ouch. up, you know? Is that medic skill really okay? Huh? Are you questioning my skill? I was always, for most of the time, the best <laughs> student in first aid class. There, the pain is gone. Yeah? <laughs> is she saying for most of the time because Sonetto is actually the number one? Is, is, is it because, is that, right? Because Sonetto is obviously the top student, right? Well... Mm, not bad. Hey! I'm not done with your stealing! <laughs> Until the pats her on the wound to show her discontent. Hey! hey, hey. Oh, uh, I already apologize! <laughs> Slick! Matilda turns her eyes towards the two people standing under the tree. Hmm, I didn't expect to see this. What a spacious yard for a house located right next to the train station. A massive sacred fig stands in the middle of the yard. It looks a lot older than it was in the photo, and it has become leafless like a skeleton. <laughs> oh, buddy. I'm surprised that you're still here. His rough hands land on the equally rough bark. The tree responds with nearly imperceptible cracks. We have settled everyone so far. I didn't expect so many men as members here. I've never encountered them before. They can't be communicated with. How horrible. 
She's still haunted by the battle. And since we meet them here, it means... <sighs> Kumar did cooperate with the menace. Damn. <sighs> Shoot. It's completely out of control. Guys, she's so hot. The incantation in the cave. She must be able to detect the fluctuation caused by it. And that gives us away. Oh, that would make sense. But what in the world is her purpose? Did she think I would stop her? So she deployed these things to slaughter the village. These things to slaughter the village? Does revenge matter that much to her? Kalabwana feels everything is so absurd. I trusted her. I never believed she would do such a thing, even if we're no longer on the same path. Vishnu's idol feels particularly hard in Kalabwana's soft palm. But the reality tells me my trust in her is nothing but a joke. Oh, okay. Guys, sorry. Uh, we're going to interrupt this sadness for a little simpery. Um, I just like really like this facial expression on her. Like, I know like she looks upset and she's like pouting a little bit. I just think she looks really cute. You know? It's a nice expression. Tell me I'm wrong. Don't just say classic Mina. Tell me I'm I'm I does she not look adorable here? Like come on, look it's such a cute expression. I bet she's <laughs> I bet she cries pretty Oh, I know she cries prettily. I know she I I know she's a pretty crier. Hatred changes people. Shemaine shakes his head. It's not a choice, Kalamona. You don't have to feel bad for trusting people. You trust someone because they are trustworthy, but you never need a reason to hate. Let your guard down for even one second. The toxic idea will sneak into your mind, and it would be impossible to get rid of it. It will burn your mind and sanity until you become an animal living for revenge. Even forget your own name. Oh, don't look at me like that. It's nothing personal. In my mind, she is still my cool and scholarly sister. I was young and easily fooled back then. What I said was based on my real-life experience. I was way more outrageous than her. <laughs> uh... I mean, we were all young once. I love Shemaine. <sighs> Kalabwana shakes her head and sighs. No matter what, she's already on the move. But we don't even know where she is. While Kalabwana and Shemaine are talking quietly in the other corner of the yard, a heated quarrel is taking place between the girls. Don't even think about it! The pain killer won't last long! There's no way you can drive with a wounded foot! As soon as Kanjira stands up, Matilda pushes her back to the seat. But Shaja's still out there. She can't use any arcane skills. If she's fine by the mask monster... Even, even if you are right on this, I can't just let you... Hmm? Huh? Oh! SPF-1 portable contact device activated. Abnormal arcane skill fluctuation detected. Huh? Conducting analysis. It just activates itself? Huh? <laughs> Even she's... Um... Source of abnormal arcane skill fluctuation confirmed. Similar faction, Manus Findicte. Margin of error, 0.121%. Emergency support application sent. Um. Adjusted support application priority to high. Um. Does it mean we can ask the foundation for backup now? You got any games? This is great! 
People, I finally got in touch with the Foundation! Yeah? That's good news. But the manas are still wandering out there. Before the Foundation... Paula, baby girl, we focus the on the positives. will be destroyed. We can't just sit around and watch. Okay, seriously, what's an SPF one? I, I still don't know what that is. Kala Buana looks down at her at the glasses. Her fingers gently swipes across the broken temple. There is another way. Oh, yes. She speaks up, though hesitantly, after the long silence. Way? What way? Oh, St. Pablo. If she can okay. Do it, I can do it too. <gasps> Yes, Queen. You can do anything your heart desires. Yes. Maybe I can find traces of her if I enter the realm. Oh my god, are you gonna enter? Because I also mastered meditation skills. Kalabuana's eyes fix on a stone. She's lost in her thoughts. Yes, that's right. I know the path inside. What do I need? Yes, water. Enough water to soak me in. Her eyes can't help but move to the large ceramic vat in the corner. Miss uh, Calabona? Now hold on. Please wait. <laughs> Shemaine waves his hand in front of the researcher, who is already carried away by some emotion. If it was so easy, why didn't you look for her in the realm in the first place? I... Oh, she's so cute when she has this, like, little contemplating face. It is a risky move, am I right? How did you know? Oh, just my instincts or experiences, perhaps? He gives her a gentle wave of his hand. No offense, but when I look at you, I see a desperate tiger cub cornered by the hunters. The situation is not as simple as you think. Since she can invite us to more punk, she can play the same trick and invite you to her realm. This could be a trap. A trap to keep you stuck inside the realm. You are right. It is a risky move. But, you know, sometimes you need to be risky. With the other two idols as her anchors, she's the true dominator of the realm now. I can't foresee what's ahead of us in there. This music is so good. So I've been avoiding it. But... Kalabuana looks up at him. We don't have other choices, do we? <laughs> now we are talking. You seem ready. But... Mm -mm. He shakes his head with slight disapproval. Whatever you decide to do next, don't. Oh. This is the advice from an experienced hunter. Why? Because whatever is in your mind now is going to send you into the hunter's trap. This happens to all kinds of animals. When the animal realizes it is cornered, its mind will be in a muddle. It can't think of anything else, but at the same time, it strangely grows overconfident. It will take the gamble of escaping from its last way out, which is also going to be the entrance of the trap. Trust me. He seems unusually serious. I know how you feel. You thought there's no way out, but a footlong bridge. She stares at his face for a long time. Eventually, she shakes her head. The man's followers are still wandering about, and some villagers haven't been moved to safer locations. But sometimes, we must take the risky path to get out of the dreadful Hell yeah. situation. Sometimes you just gotta be a little Even risky. It is full of traps. <sighs> he 
he notices her fingers clutch and loosen repeatedly out of anxiety. It may not solve all the problems, but it's better than doing nothing. If this really is a trap, that means we will meet again. And I have been waiting for a chance to talk to her face to face for too long. I have been chasing after an imaginary goal since she left me. I watched that star closely, taking down everything that I could observe. However, despite all the efforts, deep down I know better than anyone else, it's useless. I remember those days, almost half of which were like living in a mist. But now... But now... But now... I want her to like talk me to I sleep. Can feel it. Her silhouette is right there in front of me. I also like love her. I'm like really unhealthy about Kala. I think genuinely Kala is like my next favorite character, like especially like design wise after Regulus. To be honest, this is not the best time to seize this chance. Miss Calabona. But no matter how I look at it, this is too good an opportunity to pass up. You can do this, queen. She made meet her gaze squarely. Then he blinks. He scratches his head, feeling a bit powerless. Hmm. Okay, fine. Oh my god, this is like, I've said this before. Um, okay, fine. <sighs> that, that's a Mina quote right there. If you insist on doing this, I will not stop you. We all have our lessons to learn, and you are right. We don't have any better options. We don't have any better options. Uh, what is it they say? No risk, no feast, huh? <laughs> no risk, no reward, baby. But please keep this in mind. No matter what happens... Your safety will always be the top priority. Oh, Shemaine. We cannot bear to lose someone who is capable of putting this to an end. I will. What do you mean to be continued? Stargazing today? God, I love Kala. Kala Buana. What is this? What am I doing? The debuff? Yes, I know. Oh, right, right. Ooh. Oh no, they didn't die. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have these characters. Um, I'm actually ever gonna. Wait, why is it that? Oh, they're different. Frick. Oh, okay, we're doing that. Multi blade. Need me to get you guys Ooh, good job. Actually, we're gonna do this, and let's combine those. We're gonna do that. Chapter 5 next patch? I still need to finish chapter 4! Now, lunch two lucky guests. Oh, I get it completely! Ladies and Ooh. Guests, this is no magic, no any special kind of magic. Oh, that's her ult? Oh, that's a cool ult. Okay, I want to see his ult too. 
Brave decision. I just want to see his ult. Give me a hand, friends. Oh! This alone. Damn! Okay, I'll do those challenges later. Um. Twenty days left. Of no, no, no. We have three days left of the subathon, you guys. Three. Little guardians. They gather before the ceramic vat in the yard. Are you sure? To use this? What's wrong with it? It has enough water to soak me in. Chimane looks at the old vat, then checks the filthy water and rotten leaves inside. There is a silence between them. Hmm. You are much more practical than I thought. Oh, um, before I go... She hands the Vishnu idol to Matilda. Hmm? Aren't you going to take it with you, Miss Kalabona? No. She slowly shakes her head. Charmaine has a point. This is our last chance to win this fight, and it should be kept away from Kumar as far as possible. Miss Galabona, take this with you then. Matilda passes over a crystal. It is shining brightly like a freshly pick picked star. This is your... Aww. My pendulum. It's one of my collections. One of the purest. Even I don't have a lot of them around. Oh, Matilda. I realized that the theory of meditation you've talked about is quite similar to some of the crystal divination theories. So perhaps this will help you in the water if the crystal can stabilize the magnetic field and guide you in there. You... <laughs> no need to be so... This is how quickly a genius can think! I love her. I love her so much. Thank you. I would melt. Guys. I would melt on the spot if she smiled at me like this. Like, like I, I would be I would be on the floor. I'd be a puddle. I would be a mess on the freaking floor. Ah, great. So it's only me who can't understand this meditation in water thing? Well, it takes all sorts of rocks to form a mountain. It's okay, Shemaine. Me too. I don't understand shit. Before he finishes his sentence, Kalabwana has quickly submerged her legs in the water, as if the cold didn't bother her anyway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I, I I couldn't resist the reference. The cold doesn't bother me anyway. Okay. The pendulum and enough liquid. And all I have to do now is... Think of Gamar. She bends her knees and lets herself slide into the water. Her world is immediately free of sounds. As soon as her head is completely submerged in water, the cold attacks from all directions. Be it real or false, delusional or real, a world reappears before her. Where else could it be more suitable than the place we first met? Oh? 
The familiar stone stairs extend much longer than she remembers. The rough red bricks and well-calculated and carefully designed arc, everything enchant her mentor as a unique kind of beauty. <laughs> How thoughtful you were, Komar, to recreate the observatory in the realm. The figure standing still on its top looks like a black singularity. She knows who it is. Just an illusion in my mind. Now her left foot is on the first step. Resistance is expected. She remembered almost every detail of me as a child. The figure standing in front of her greatly resembles her younger self. Always flisk, flisk, fist clenching, always ready for confrontation. And now... The girl is irritated by the intrusion. <laughs> she rushes towards Kalabuana and throw. What? Hey, I was reading. <clears throat> it hurts. Oh, baby. Did it hurt this much when I hit someone as a child? Get out! You should not be here. She tries to drive Kalabuana away, fighting her like a trained warrior. Ah, uh, yes. Mom had taught me a few moves to deal with those grads at that age. Yeah, the soundtrack is really good. Leave! Hmm. This feels weird. Did Kumar put you here? To guard this fragment of memory? This shall be the obstacle in my way, to where I want to be. It's time to face the illusion from the past. said anything I haven't said anything I, I, I didn't I didn't say anything okay oh we're fighting oh my god only regulus re 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 regulus I can't wait anymore oh we have to beat up a child Bro, I'm about to murder this child. Damn. Start me up. They're just little games. They're just little games. And you have stronger hands, like I have dreamt of. So, have you two found the graveyard of stars? So, what does that mean? Um. Ruh, 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 regulus. Every time Mina gets the urge to say that voice line, we need to replace it with Molly screaming. Um, excuse me, I didn't say anything. It was simply... It was the game that said it. I reacted. That'd still be me. Which is also you. We are 16, and the bad kids sitting behind us cut our hair. Hmm. Leave now, Kalabona. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Rock rock rock! Are you ready?
to shake. I love Regulus. <gasps> okay, we're okay. I have to be serious again. The illusion is dispersed and then gathers again in the distance. But this time, she is no longer irritated. <laughs> She gradually fades away in the light and shadow of the observatory, and her voice grows further and further. From the past to the present and the future, the thing you are clinging on to, facing and chasing, think what it is. Bro, oh, this OST is sad. Oh, I heard a drop. Kalabwana lowers her head to look at her palm. You are still asking questions that cannot be answered, just as you always did. Oh, this BGM is beautiful. What do you think I should chase after? Her fingers clench gently. Isbar Madhoka Nahikaungi. Kumar. उस दिन के बाद से मैंने खगोल विज्ञान का अध्ययन कभी नहीं छोड़ा। There is only an echo in the empty space. The illusion has gone. She looks up at the almost endless stairs. Keep moving, bro. If I had to climb those stairs, I would just be like, the world could end. I don't have the cardio for this. Outside the fence. The fence. These chapters are really long, I feel like. If this feels longer than the last event. I love her. First, the child self. Then, the teenage self. And then the young adult self. Only in the mediator's realm can one face so many past selves and defeat them one after another. The 20 year old me was fierce. Kalabuana rubs her bruised cheeks. That pain feels real. You came here sooner than I expected. Uh oh. Kalabuana. The wind feels like tingling knives on the rooftop. A familiar, if not too familiar, figure once again emerges in front of her. I knew you would come. Kumar. Finally. See you again. I miss you dearly too, my child. I hope you've been doing well while I was away. Hope you're happy with the surroundings I set. I always find it enjoyable here. A place full of memories. <laughs> and perfect for small dogs. <laughs> I'd rather you suffered, miss. <laughs> Color! I'd rather you suffered. Like, miss ma'am? Ah, someone is having a worse attitude these days. Kalabwana looks around to observe the surroundings. There's no need to look around, kid. I already had a few years of experience in the field before you started your research. And one of the most basic skills one has to master in the meditator's realm is to cover up the traces of reality. Oh? Reality? Is reality real? Guys? The sky is dark, like the surface of a dusted glassware. Even so, you didn't even think about creating a starry sky for yourself here. 
Kamara is silent for a moment and then shakes her head. Hmm. That would be unnecessary. You can see it any time outside this realm if you like. Why did you invite me here? I know you've put in a lot of efforts. I understand the difficulty within and sympathize with you, Kalapona. I always do, just like what I did with my younger brother. By the way, that letter has been delivered to him safely, I assume? You're smart enough not to bring the Vishnu statue with you. Did somebody kindly remind you not to do that? Oh my god. Never mind. That's not helpful. How did she know? I don't understand. Why involve him? Behind Kumar, an old finder scope is aiming at the sky. Hmm. Maybe I was being vindictive out of hatred, like you said. After all, they precluded me from doing anything even before I give it a try. Although my misfortune was not my brother's doing, there's no one else left in the family to take my anger. Damn. So ask me now. Ask me anything you wish to know. I can tell you everything. What you're curious about. What you're confused about. Anything you can't work out in your little brain. I can explain it all. She smiles warmly, but her words are as cold as usual. Hasn't the idea that I might locate you bothered you for even a second? Kalabwana takes a tentative step forward. Locate me? <laughs> you are still as naive as a child, my Kalabwana. You little dummy, Ulu. That is simply impossible. This is the first time you doubt my capability. Oh? You dare doubt me? No. Why would I do that? Of all the students, you are the only child who is smart enough to follow my steps this far. You just don't have time on your side and need a better mindset in dealing with the unexpected. I've tried to teach it to you. Remember those impromptu speeches I asked you to give? Those were good practice. Don't have... What do you mean? Perhaps you have put too much stock in the idea that I will rely on Manus Vindicte in this. Instead, I trust myself more than them. And of course, I also trust you. What's more, they were never good enough for me. But luckily, I have never been a real arcanist or a real human, only pretending to be either of them when necessary. I can easily act like an arcanist to gain their trust, just like I could act like a human when I was teaching at Venna. Uh, she's kind of creepy. Kumar notices that Kalabana has been staring at the old finder scope. What are you staring at? Take it, if you're interested. Uh. Kumar takes off the finder scope and throws it lightly to Kalabwana. It lands precisely on her palm. The surroundings remain the same, Kalabana can't find any loopholes at all. What? You thought it is the key to cracking the meditator's realm, like the stone statues earlier? Though it is too late for hints, there is one thing I have to remind you of. She is indeed as thoughtful as she claims to be. You didn't catch up to the real me, nor did you improve the situation by entering the realm. You chased me all the way here. <gasps> chased the hope of winning against me. No! But you only helped me complete my plan. The moment you entered the realm, the last step <gasps> of my plan was done. <laughs> I completed what? 
As you know, exerting influence on reality through the meditator's realm is challenging. After all, this realm is like the shadow of its real counterpart, a reflection of reality. I went to a lot of trouble, even wasted a statue, to finally stick out a corner of the shadow over the boundary of the two worlds. You mean the statue in the cave? Yes. What I needed was an outside in force <gasps> to break the realm, which is almost unbreakable from no. the inside. A mirror can reflect objects, but there's nothing it could do to itself. It can only be shattered into pieces by people not from the reflection, but reality. Whenever there is a shooting star streaking across the sky of this realm... Ooh, this piano's good, though. An equally beautiful star will fall on the real Earth. And guess what? You are the force I'm looking for. No. How? So the fluctuation I detected, the energy of the celestial body felt by the Foundation girl, are just false alert? Oh no. I have to admit, that young girl was not part of my plan. But at least you are on the right You never expect the French. Happened. If anything is to blame, it's your ego. You are trying to win, but not by saving people. The idea of proving yourself to me avoid their lives. Ooh, what's it called? What's it what's it called? Um like hubris? You must be wondering, how could she lay such a trap with her insignificant arcane power? She can barely lift a lump of clay. She must have had the Malice Vindicte on her side to help. All that being said, you don't have to feel yourself to be a lesser version of me. You're still my best student, my best colleague, and my strongest rival. Well... With some room to improve. She's only 20, like, 7, okay? Let her live. Even this time, you didn't lose the game for lack of wits, but for the fact that I know you a bit better than you know me. Oh. And I simply have more experience hunting a prey. Shemaine called it. You and the madness. I've never, never thought that. Kalabana feels her explanation is meaningless and stuck in her throat. She's almost choking for breath in the gentle breeze. That means if I didn't enter the realm to see you, then things are going to be tricky for me. You would be enjoying a happy deeper festival while I would be crying in a dark corner <gasps> and nobody knows of. Why? Why would you? Well, time's up. Remember to ask the most important question first next time. <gasps> don't thank me for that suggestion. And don't think too much of Damn. I didn't explain all these things for your sake. I told you everything because only by doing so can I enjoy the victory to its fullest. Your desperation is a good prize for me. Your desperation is a good prize for me? You know I have a bad taste for entertainment. Go back to the deeper festival. At least there's one good thing left for you. You will get to see that beautiful shooting star with your own eyes, just like I will. Oh my god. Alfida. Uh oh. What whoa. You better ask the most important questions first next time. That's insane. She's kind of crazy for that. She was kind of crazy for that. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of a banger line. My ankle hurts no more. 
Kanjira tries to move the tightly wrapped ankle. Hmm. Shemaine is sitting under the sacred fig, and Matilda is anxiously walking round and round the vat. Neither of them is in the mood to check Kanjira's ankle. Uh, she's been in there for... Mm, 4 minutes, 26 seconds. Is this a reasonable length of time? Uh, I remember I once learned about the ideal time length for meditation in one of the elective classes. Uh, what's more, she's holding her breath underwater. Oh! Bro? He looks- he looks great. Oh my god, he looks great. Getting to see him not hunchback is like a, a nice look for him. Damn, my dude. I know. God damn. He looks awesome. Shemaine closes his eyes. The noise of people. The footsteps. The light cracks coming from the inside of the tree gradually turn into the crackle of flames. When there is only one way to the destination, you have no choice but to take it. Pain is coming from his scar of the mutilation, which healed up long ago. You have to force yourself to take that painful step and then blame yourself for being such a desperate fool to move and lose balance. Who has never made a mistake? There was a time when he was just like them. If he had chosen the other path, the sacred fig wouldn't have died, and they wouldn't- they would be sitting in the sh in its shade. But who's to say that would be the better future? <laughs> but the silver lining is, it's just a stagger on the solid ground, and you will eventually regain your footing. Oh. <coughs> oh my god, I got jump scared by that. The vat bursts into pieces after the five minute silence. The water splashes onto the ground like strange shadows cast in all directions. Oh, Miss Calabona! <sighs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I I am I am I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm strong. I'm stronger than this. I am stronger than this. I am I am a strong I am a strong person. Um I know she's probably depressed right now. And this isn't the moment. I I know this. I know I I am well aware of that information. But Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. 
She she is so pretty. The poor vat breaks into pieces. The muddy liquid spreads in all directions and covers the ground. Her wet hair is clinging to her tightly. She looks as miserable as a drowned rat. I have never seen a drowned rat that looks this good. I'm just gonna say that. Leave here. <coughs> now. And get everyone. She vomits in great pain. As if she could expel the regret from her body this way. Did, did you see Kuma? What happened? I'm the one to blame. Damn it. I'm such a fool. Oh. I should have known that I'm not a match for Kumar. She knows what that means. If the boundary between the realm and the reality is broken, that celestial body will fall on them in no time. There's no easy way to forgive herself. Maybe it will destroy them today. Maybe in the next minute. Keep telling myself I did all these things to save the people, to save the village. Turns out it was me fighting against a dummy she set up. Aww. I messed up everything for everyone. She looks at her fingers. The nails have sunk into the, gr the soft ground. She's so fine. A wrinkled piece of coarse cloth comes into her sight. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. She lowers her head even more. If I were more sensible, I'd just left this path. The stupid dumb trap. Nothing would have turned out this way. Oh, is that how you see it? I assume you think it is this way because you have failed in the mission. And thus this is why I can't retire as Cuba Clipper. Time to expose this horny woman. I am only human. Okay. I I am I am a victim of being a human. I am not responsible for 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 my human reactions. I'm only human. Which is totally understandable. Blaming it all on yourself. Telling yourself you will be the only one to suffer the consequence so as to alleviate the guilt. Or, you didn't understand what I said to you earlier at all. What? Sorry, I'm just taking a screenshot real quick. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a screenshot. Don't, don't mind me, don't mind, don't mind. She looks up with confusion, wondering if that relaxed tone is another illusion. You have to stop at Kalabona. Remember what I said? You don't have to feel bad for trusting people. And here's another piece. Don't blame yourself for being brave. Aww. What did she tell you? You were a fool and you ruined everything? He crouches down and looks straight at his reflection in her eyes. Come on. Both of us know this is not the case. Oh. Brave or reckless? The music. Prudent or cowardly? Comments like these could be predictions, but most of the time are hindsight. The good news is, we still have time to change that. You know what kind of bears the hunters fear the most? The ones which were once trapped, but eventually got away. Nobody can remain a predator forever. We don't know what will happen in the next encounter. What's more, life is a long fight where we outsmart one opponent and get outsmarted by the other. That's the wisdom of nature. Bears eat salmon, wolves eat rabbit, but eventually 
bears or wolves, their skin will become our blankets. A tiger might have strength, yet a rat also has its wits. You don't need to defeat her to validate your victory. You can win this war another way, a way to your advantage. When will the wrestling between a fisherman and a fish God, this begin? BGM is beautiful. When the fish bites the bait. So, if you still have some strength left in you to get back on your feet and think straight, that'd be most helpful. After all, I don't think we have the time for another round of meditation. Kalabuana takes the cloth. She buries her face into it, wiping hard across her eyes. The pain brings her senses back. The last time I wiped my face with this, I was wrestling with my mom. <sighs> she takes a deep breath, trying to get her brain working again. Kumar, she broke the boundary between the meditator's realm and reality through me. I'm afraid the falling star will arrive early. What? There's no other ways to stop Helvin? I forgot Matilda was there here. There might be a way to stop her. By locating her in person. But I didn't spot any clue in the realm. And now... It's okay. Oh, she's so cute when she's sad. We are in a dangerous situation. Guys, am I toxic? Almost as urgent as the time when Rama was facing the arrow knocked to a full Am I? Am I toxic? Instead of getting caught up in nostalgia, we should take action and protect what can be saved. a lot of yeses. Why is a first time chatter saying yes? How would you know this? You 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 just you it's your it's your first chat ever. Well, how how would you possibly know that information? The estimated arrival time of the foundation backup is 6 a.m. It will be too late if the meteor really falls early. We need a shelter that can withstand the impact. Also, we have to gather all the villagers. And... and... In the field training, the instructor also told us to... I'll go with you! Kanjira staggers her way to them. I'll go with you. I know the way better. Besides, Shadja is not back yet. Aww. If anything happens to she, I will not forgive myself if I say those words. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm staying. Huh? If I can calculate the range of damage of the comet, we may retreat to a safe location. Kalabwana flings her wet hair back. Yes, girl boss. Yes, girl boss. You got this. Every rat has its day. Girl, you are not a rat. You are beautiful. And this rat is doing her best. Girl, Epop, you are too hot to be a rat. <laughs> Don't put on a face like that. You are not some rat. I can tell. You are the tiger cub. In the meantime, let's not forget... Real rat is still out there looking smug. It is predictable that there will be a long-term battle outside the stone door, enchanted with protection incantations. Shemaine turns around and rubs his hands, feeling a bit uneasy. Watch out for the things I knock off. I didn't do it on purpose. Time to fight. Dental checkup. Dental checkup. Alright. We're gonna debuff. Counter. Stop me up. Stop me up. Thank you for your cooperation. For everyone. Her badonkadonks is so huge that it's blowing up 
this stream stream. Bro, she's so fine. Like, genuinely. Kalabuana is so fine. Tooth Fairy casually saying dental check. Yeah, she's a dentist. Bro, this BGM is so good. Destructor, thank you for the tier one. Thank you. For everyone. Bum, 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 ba -da -bum. All right. Stop me up. What's her debuff do? They're just little games. Thank you for your cooperation. We'll do that. Please. Listen. Oh. Erm. Um. Awesome. Okay. Tooth Fairy is your favorite. Tooth Fairy is awesome. My favorite is my Stop beloved up. angel girly pop, Regulus. If you can't tell. I would die for her. Left hand up. Now right hand up. Um, she says <laughs> stop talking, not just talking. I want you to know that. I want you to know that. She's, she says, um, Goodbye. stop talking. All right, are you guys ready to rock? Are you ready to be blinded? Are you ready are to, you shake? Ready to shake? Woohoo! Release! Woohoo! Release! Hip hip! Hooray! God, I love Regulus. She's so obnoxious, my little British girl. Melania. Melania is a great favorite. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, oh my god, Kala's lying on the cold, hard ground. Uh, no, okay, okay, can we... Can, the diversity in this game is, like, actually kind of crazy. Let me, get, let me just get my dailies real quick. Like, unironically, unironically, diversity is wild. Okay, British. British. Okay, there's a lot of British people. There's the voices. British. An unexpected encounter. British. Stop talking. Is Tooth Fairy also it's British? Wow, there's a lot of British characters. Hold Please on. Open your mouth. Okay, yeah, she is also British. Alien. Speak. What is what is DK? Roman Catholic. Italian. Hmm. Alice in Wonderland. Uh oh. Manchester. The British Isles. Inside of America. That's America. Wait. Manchester, British. Wait, is that is that in Britain? Oh, like Manchester United, like the soccer team, right? Okay, American. Look at that. Look at that. A Washington D.C. girly pop. <laughs> India. Welcome to Typhon's movie party. Okay, Sotheby. Where is she from? Where's my girly pop from? She's also from Britain, but we 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 met her in America. I'm not good at dealing with physical. Okay, okay. I just happen to have all the British characters built for some reason. Germany. Greetings. Italian. The puppy Dog. is delighted by your visit. Are you here Apple. to confirm this? You're here. This is a Girl Scout. It's probably American. Aloha! Bonjour! Ni hao! Where is she from? Konnichiwa! Uh, Hawaii. Don't be in and out. Your body... Where's Leah from again? The Soviet. Good day, my lord. This is the most Italian-looking person I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, Creepy! Look Fresh! Now what a... Two gentlemen... Satsuki's Japanese. Oh, Miss Timekeeper. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? I think a night just proves that French people aren't real. No, guys, look. Look at a night. Look at a night. Look at this. One of the most gorgeous splash arts ever. I'm just mad I lost 50 50 to him. I just got him. I lost him on Jessica's banner. Always lonely to stay somewhere quiet for a long. I hate this man. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I like Charlie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so nice to meet. 
There's so many characters. Oh my god, Blondie, my baby. You'd better okay, back really to the story. Have something. Oh my god, Kala, my beloved. Charlie bit my finger. Bro, I feel like they really popped off with the um, splash arts for Kala specifically. No, I don't have Jessica. The last butter lamp has been blown out by the quiet breath. Darkness falls on the people who are still in hiding. We are safe as long as they can't find us. Shurja hides the fainted woman and the girl in the shadow to keep them safe. Miss Shurja, don't scare me. Aww. Gina holds Shurja's hand so tightly as she is the only lifesaver now. Relax, Gina. Remember what Pati and Dada said? Just wait here and they will be back soon. Your brother is also helping them out. <laughs> Those monsters are terrifying. Even, even Manta. Um. Recalling the tragic scene, Sherja can't help closing her eyes. Mother just passed out. Don't worry. She will... Oh... <gasps> the man cast an incantation while wielding the ram dao to keep the monsters away. <laughs> well, I mean, she tried to warn you guys, and you were being racist. <laughs> Oh my god, he's still being racist. The ram Dao cuts through the air. An arm covered in black slime falls to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> 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 The body acts before the mind. The moment Shurja exposes herself and rushes into the light, her senses scream to warn her of the danger. Oh no! There is no doubt a bare-handed human challenging a group of Manus followers is throwing straws against the wind. Oh, she made tear. The last Manus follower falls to the ground, the mask broken in half. Shemaine freezes, his fist still in the air. Even he himself doesn't realize what has happened. Oh boy, that was close. He looks down and meets Shurja equally sure just equally confused eyes oh whoops uh, miss Sherja, i admire you for your courage but this is getting a bit too nerve-wracking <laughs> he withdraws his arm a bit scared by what has happened miss Sherja. ganjira wait how did you find this place sorry miss Sherja. i should not be mad at you that scares me so. so sorry. Couldn't control bum, myself. Bum, and bum, my body bum, just... bum, bum. Huh? You go with this. The old man grasps Shemaine's left arm. The Sharma boy? Are <laughs> Uncle to call! 
The old man seems to be looking at a living ghost. The girl, Chacha. Both bate hungi. Par is wak na hi. Warmly greeting the old man, he avoids the question. Is Jaga ik ulka pin gerega? Is ke prabhav se ik vishal gada ban jahega? Or the or? Wo ulka pin yaha par foundation ke koi sahaita pahonchne se pehle a gerega? Par? Aap log sab se zada kush kismet hai. Kyonke hum sab se pehle aap logo ko dhund pahi hai. Oh my god. The villagers are pushed into the tuk tuk with their complaints. Alright. I'm glad to see that you're fine, Miss Sherja. We are in dire need of a helping hand. Miss Sherja, I remember you know this place well. Yes, I do. We need to transfer everyone here. Humans and Arcanists to a safe place. And you're the best person to do that. I. All right. I'll do whatever I can as long as it helps. Dun, 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 Wish dun, my father dun. could see this. <laughs> Isn't she a lot more reliable than I am? Told the old man a million times that humans make more decent work partners than Arcanists. <laughs> Of course, the French person is trying to rush people. Matilda opens the door and urges them to get in. You can check later! I hear you. Sherja, please briefly tell us what the neighborhood is like. We need to pick up everyone in the town as soon as possible. We need to find the quickest way to do it. And is it took up that big? On the way. Hey, relax. We can't run away from them. We will just run over them. Oh my god. Well, he's not wrong. Yeah, I thought the tuk tuk was small. We saw the tuk tuk. Select the shortest path. What does that mean? The Balahas live near the village entrance. The fastest way there. Oh. oh and Auntie Sitar. She lives at. Uh, Hey people, that rumbling noise sounds rumbling, like a rumbling. Hill. Guys are catching up. Aha, don't buddy, just speed up with Kachira. Ah! Uh, ahead, yes, my, my intuition has never failed me. Well, they didn't tell us what the shortest <laughs> path was, so we're gonna. They're just little games. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. What is this doing? Stop me up. Let's give them some charges, I guess. Yeah. Fastest route. The last house is right there. But, but. This is living my wildest childhood dream. <laughs> Hold tight, people. We are going to swim. We are going to swim. Uh, these things are black and noisy. Can I just run over them? Kanjira. What? Of course not. A cow will not cause any damage to these arcane monsters. 
seems like we have to fight. I hope this is the last trouble we have to deal with. Yeah. Bump, 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 bump. Are you ready to be blinded? Are you ready to be blinded? Stars. Does this game have male characters too, or is it one of the female only? There is male and female characters. Are you ready to shake? One, two, three. Okay, all are here. We got everyone. Hmm. The gas pedal is more heavy. Oh, Uncle Taka. Waha pohot peer hai, huh? Main yaha se cable up ke pagri dek sakta ho. Mujhe dar hai ki aapko abhi isse sahana hoga. Aake kar aap pohot bar pahale baakti the. Ye chald hi khatam hoi jayega. Hey, 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 we're getting a male six star when Shemaine is available. They are much naughtier than the Foundation's kids. It is mostly females, yeah. Yeah, after Kala, it's gonna be Shemaine. Oh yeah, a knight. You got a knight erasure. Will you pull for Shemaine? Probably not. Bro, I don't got any funds. And I, I, I got Kala because I like Kala. I, I do love Shemaine's personality though. He's great. How is everything? Oh my gosh, she's so hot. See? Like... <sighs> You guys see my reaction every time I look at Kala, right? Like, this is unhealthy. I'm unhealthy about her. Well, it's going smooth. The young people and tourists left as soon as I persuaded them. Only the old and the children are left here. It's not that easy for them to move, and... And... Hey! You promised to give me half of it! Now what? The boss cannot keep her own promise? Damn. Hmm. I do most messenger work. More food for more work. Thank you for hydrate. These kids were abandoned and driven away by humans. I'm glad to see Kanjura get along with them. Kalabwana looks down at the astrolabe in her hand. If she could enjoy life like this. No, nothing. Kalabwana chuckles. There's a far away, far away look at her on her face. You just reminded me of my mother. She's so pretty. Shurja, perhaps people like you are the key to saving all of us. I just observed it again. The figures are showing a grim picture. Luckily, I've worked out the specific range of damage. There's Indian representation. Yeah, this entire event is taking place in India, and they dead ass speak Hindi. Like they speak Hindi. Wow! Oh, thank you, Phoenix, for the tier one. Thank you, I appreciate that. She draws a quite she draws quite a large circle on the map. As long as we can get out of this radius, there will be no casualties. As for other losses, they are beyond my ability to cover. Hmm. And then we got our little French girl as well. The airship of the foundation is on the way. At least our water supply is secured for now. But the problem is at such a distance. She draws a straight line on the map lightly. I think it doesn't feel forced because reverse, the story is about tr like going through time and going through different eras. 
where it makes sense that there would be representation because like are you only going through the eras of britain like come on you're going all over the world you're going all over the world the distance even if we follow the straight line it is impossible for us the elders and the children to get out of it within hours So close to success. If only we could go underground. Underground? Wait. I remember my old man told me about uh, an emergency tunnel leading to the forest on the mountain. Its entrance is right here, beneath the floor of this very room. A tunnel? He told me this. Hoping that one day I will take over his responsibility to look after the village. If I remember it correctly, that forest, which is also the exit of this tunnel, is right outside the impact area. He taps on a spot outside the marked range with his rough finger. That's great. In the tunnel... Even if we don't make it to the forest in time, we can still avoid the damage. Still avoid the damage. Uh, but... But... He scratches his beard, hissing in embarrassment. The problem is, there's a gate to the tunnel. Now, just for the record, I'm only quoting my old man. It is a gate which... Only opens to the leader who has earned his people's trust. <laughs> oh, open sesame! We is going real treasure hunting this time. Out of the silence, only the naive child is excited. Oh, well. My father's version was hardly as exciting as Open Sesame. <laughs> I didn't believe him even as a child. I tried to open it by force many times. Well, it never worked. My old man was telling the truth. Things would be problematic for us. Because I don't think I can get that gate open. Firstly, I've never wanted to be a leader. And speaking of the people's trust, how do you think those cursing old men in the yard will feel about me? Hmm. Um, oh God, she's so pretty. Kalabwana listens to those cursing old men for a while. She cannot contradict what he says. Even so. She taps on the map, thinking. Hmm. Guys, I just, like, I'm sorry. I just really like her character design. We will open that gate. She looks up at Shemaine. He is standing in silence and has a blank look on his face. Hmm? Even if we have to smash it with our bare fists. Oh? I'm not sure if you were being sarcastic. <laughs> she doesn't give a clear answer. Instead, her eyes flit back to the map. It's the best way in the current situation. On the porch in the f in front of the house, there's a loose floorboard. Under it, they see some wooden stairs, which appear to be the entrance of a tunnel. Watch your steps. One after another, they slowly go down the stairs. Ooh. The gray and yellow stone gate has a pattern of an elephant raising its front feet in the middle. It is as immovable as a real elephant. Hmm. So the spell Shemaine told us is truly useless. <laughs> what did I say? This is never the gate for me to open. Shemaine gives them an embarrassed smile. Behind him, the criticism comes as expected. Ha! I know that you all 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 know that you
अच्छा ना तुम नंदे तू अपने परिवार की रक्षा नहीं कर सकता तो दूसरों की रक्षा कैसे करेगा bro to call he this man loves to talk shit like holy shit he is always talking shit हे भगवान हमारी प्रार्थना सुन के हमारे लिए कोई मार्गदर्शक भेज दे Oh, here they come again. The complaints Shemaine has heard so many times. Those familiar syllables make him almost nostalgic. Kanjira is tapping a foot faster and faster. It's getting hard for her to suppress the anger. इतने सालों इंसानों के भरोसे रख के हम हाँ, you <laughs> I love Kanjira. She's so sick of them. The crowd instantly falls into silence. The spell of nostalgia is broken. Shemain lowers his head, surprised by her irritation. All you talk about is protect family and stuff. Give me a break. <laughs> Jemaine points at his own nose, brought up short. Yes, you. What about me? <laughs> Kanjira throws back her head and glares at him. You love talking, don't you? Now you go dumb. <laughs> Big guy can't defend yourself. <laughs> Damn. Kanjira extends a finger at the hushed crowd. You talk and you shut them up. Shemaine follows her pointing finger and looks at the familiar faces. He suddenly realizes that, after all these years, he still remembers each of them clearly. There is no longer anger or disdain in their eyes. They just remain silent and avoid his gaze. Why don't you do this earlier? We need to focus on the most important thing. It's open sesame story. Kanjira mumbles admiringly. In the story only the most smart and wise people can open it. Why do you hesitate now? Oh, Kanjira. <laughs> <sighs> This is really cute. Shemaine laughs as if she had said something most amusing. Little one. You think I'm the smartest? And wisest person? I really wanted to be like no, and then points to Kala. Uh, no. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Oh. <laughs> no way. There's no way that actually happened. His laugh stops. But why ask me? It is your gate. <laughs> My answer don't matter. Their answer don't matter too. That's why I said you should shut them up. Kanjira rolls her eyes. There will be a gate for me, and I will open it my way. I'm the one to decide how to open my gate. My spell will be longer and cooler than some open sesame. <laughs> I like how that's what she's focusing on. I'm not jealous, you. She turns her back to him, refusing to cast a look at him. I kind of love how realistic like her English is, because she's the least educated after all, like out of all of them. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like Dad was right. I'm not qualified to be a leader. Yes, you are, Shemaine. Thanks, kid. <sighs> Oh, this BSPGM is nice. Anyway, times have changed. Forget the spell. <laughs> no, it's not ominous music. This is um uplifting music. It's uplifting. That's his father's gate, his father's path, 
his father's choice of life and his father's responsibility. He raises his voice. Screw it. I have no idea what my father once promised you. In fact, I have no interest in what your old heads think. Hmm. Pick a new spell? Sing a song? Bleat like a goat? His fist clenches. At this serious, crucial moment, he is strangely relieved by one sudden idea. <laughs> He doesn't need any implement implements. He can do it with his bare hands, figuratively and literally. <laughs> and the one standing right here, right now, is me. Not another Sharma. Oh! This is his way. This is cool. This is really cool. Like, oh, this is so cool. That is to say... <gasps> oh! I mean, that's a way. This is the easiest punch he has ever thrown. The burden from the past, the pain, and the stress are thrown out of his body at this moment. Oh, turns out the gate is much more fragile than I thought. Wow! Milk, thank you for gifting five subs. Thank you. Thank, thanks, Milk. Appreciate you always. Thank you. We can let the timer go down. It's okay. We're back. We're almost at the sixes again. It's, it's so great. We can see the funny number again. Right? We missed the funny number. Right, guys? It's a quiet night in the forest. A bonfire is lit in a small, open space. Sylphid Art, thank you for the tier one. Which reverse VA would I want to collab with? Um, I don't really, I don't know any, I, I don't know who, who the voice actors are in this game. If I had to pick anyone Regulus, personally, or uh, Matilda's. Um, Kafka's White Cat, thank you for gifting five subs as well. Thanks. Thanks. Um, guys, if you got gifted a sub, make sure to say thank you. <sighs> thank you, guys. It's... No, no, Mira. Mira, no. No, no, guys. No, Desu. No, guys. Stop, please. We're good. We're good. No, 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 no. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, stop. No, no. Basil, no. No, no guys. Guys. No, 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 no. We were, we were at 70. You guys, we were at 70. No, no, Kafka's white cat. Please stop. Thank you for the next five, but please, please stop. No, 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 guys, look, look, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're at 71, we can stop now. Right? We already set a hype train record before. We got like level 17 or something. That was crazy, that's enough. <sighs> Anyways, ahem. It's a quiet night in the forest. A bonfire is lit in a small, open space. That is to say, I'll smash that door open. Even if it takes the other arm of mine. <laughs> Ruru, Ru, thank you for, for, for the five gifted. Th th thank, thank you. Thanks. Guys, thanks. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, Simeon, thank you as well for the... Th thanks. Th thanks as well for the... Th oh. Oh, anonymous gifter too. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Uh, Boy, cat, thank you again for gifting us up. That's enough, you guys. Uh, I think this is enough. I think we're. I think we're. No, and, and no, Kat, Katarina. Thanks. Um, thanks. Um, guys, we can stop. Guys, guys, we we can. Guys, we can. We can. No, no. 
No, please, guys. We, we can... No, 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 no. Just accept it. No, no, guys. We can stop. We can stop. It's it's fine, guys. Pay, you know, reverse. Please kiss me, kiss me, somebody. Thank you for the five. Coffee goes by cat. Thank you for the sub. And then Desu, thank you for the five as well. Uh, oh, and Mel, thank you again for, for, for guys. Um, I know we're playing reverse 1999, but we don't need to reverse the timer. We can let the timer go down. It, it's, it's okay. We're back at 72. We were almost at 69. We were so close to 69. We, we were, we, we were so close to 69. The storm is here. Rhythm isn't right, 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 right. It matches the theme? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't need to match the theme. Sometimes it's okay to not. And talking about matching the theme, hey guys, use my use my link to download Reverse 1999 if you're enjoying the event story. The main story is also really good. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're, we're gonna we're gonna move on and ignore what's happening over here. I am the storm that is approaching. Don't lose momentum. We're, we we can lose momentum. It's a lot. We're we're we we are in fact allowed to lose momentum here. Every time Fawn comes in when I'm getting subs, I feel like immense shame because I can just I can hear her saying, "I told you so." I hear it. I hear it. Wow. Oh, Mel, thank you for gifting another another sub. Thanks, thanks. We could stop though. We we can we can stop. I think we're good now. I think we're good. I guess you didn't see that coming. To tell the truth, I had prepared myself to bounce off from that closed gate. You know, my next paycheck, I get an extra $500. No, you don't. No, you don't. Keep it. Uh, buy yourself a boba. Buy, um, go, go get yourself a PlayStation 5. Um, you know, enjoy, enjoy your life. Um, Go, go, you spend it on yourself, you know? <laughs> but wow, see how I burst it open? That was cool. This is genuinely the funniest energy for a subathon you've ever seen. I, how do most people act during a subathon? I don't know. He throws a few punches in the air excitedly. Ho, ho, ha! Shemaine is cute. Oh, Riddler, you missed it. Before this 13 hour stream, there was like a 40 something hour stream. I just had to reset the timer because Twitch auto cancels your stream after 48 hours. He takes back his fist, content and casually pokes the fire. <sighs> so in the end, Dad was just telling nonsense to a kid. <laughs> the flame is dancing in his eyes. Those so-called profound teachings. Like one needs adequate strength or a sense of responsibility. Those were too abstract for a kid to understand. <laughs> That's indeed his style. But in the end, the door was open. God, Kala's so That's gorgeous. Sure. Well, order some lunch tomorrow on me. Th thanks, thanks, Milk. Thanks. Th th thanks so much, Milk. Truly, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, you guys, please. Please, we we're good. Okay, we we're, 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 we're you know we're fine. Story. At least a million times better than mine. God, she's so hot. <laughs> you have a long way to go before reaching the end. But I'd say you're in a much better place now than you were in the Don't beginning. Don't worry, Mina. I'm sure when everyone gets paid tomorrow, you will be able to check out their awesome moves. <sighs> check out this awesome move. Um. Okay. Listen. When I used to work corporate, I got paid on Wednesdays. Why, why does it, did everyone else get paid on Fridays? Like, what is this? It's good progress. 
trust me. You guys keep talking about payday. I used to get paid on Wednesdays. Wow. Selena, thank you for the tier three. Thanks. I appreciate you for 11 months. And thank you for working so hard this subathon as well. Guys, can we get some hearts for the mods? Just, just a casual reminder, they are the ones truly putting in so much work to keeping track of all the subs. I would not know what our sub count is at without them. I, I fully just would have no idea. But, uh, I would just wouldn't know. Am I tired? I'm always tired. I'm fine, though. I, I feel fine. But yeah, yeah. Throw, throw some love for the mods. Like, truly, truly, they do so much. I swear, chat's nicer to us than you. Um. What do you mean by that? What, what, what? This is why I don't let you guys out of the basement. This is why. This is why I don't let you guys out of the freaking basement. You see, I give them the, I give them the freedom to type once and they do this to me. Power move. They can't blink. They can't blink. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. How lovely. How... How lovely. You guys are like slowly, but surely impeding on that 4,000 goal. Slowly, but surely. Observed from the top of the mountain, the old village is only as small as half a palm. He who only stays behind a closed door will turn away many things, including a chance to survive. All right, all right. Best roast rabbit ever. Miss Sharja, you have the first bite. Kanjira loves Sharja so much, it's really cute. A person with no family, yet radiates the warmth of family to others. Oh my god, I want to, I just, I want to rest my head right here. Kumar have a slight this warmth from someone. Maybe such an absurd thing would have never happened. <laughs> I doubt she's upset about what happened. Maybe she has found herself a good seat to enjoy this dance of Shiva. That's true. She's the kind of person who always finds herself the best seat to watch the show. But I'm curious. Tell me. Did she, um, Did she say anything bad about me? That was not a part of her conversation. She just admitted that she was being vindictive. Kalabana slightly frowns, hoping to find some clues in the chaotic memories. Maybe... I was being vindictive out of hatred, like you said. <gasps> she suddenly jumps up, as if she was burned by the bonfire. Like you said, the realm can never extract every word I've said. It's theoretically impossible. Oh? How? Where, where did she hear Do that? Do I have Spotify going in another... Tab? No, there's nothing else playing. I I have nothing else playing on any uh, tab. Yeah, I feel like it's maybe like a spy thing. Oh, we're almost at the end. Uh... 
Bro, I need to pee so badly. Okay, I'm gonna pee. Before I pee, I'm gonna she pull up an image no. for you guys to look at respectfully, okay? Like, while I pee. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm pulling it up. I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, all right, I'm back. Did you guys enjoy this lovely... Yet, sir. Do you guys wait? Do, do you... Do you wait for me to leave my computer? Like, genuinely, genuinely. Do you wait for me to leave my computer before gifting? Like, I'm asking, like, like I'm being serious. Do, do you genuinely wait? <laughs> like... Maybe. Thank you for the thank you for the subs. Thank you. I appreciate you. Let me uh, update this. Slowly but surely, you guys are very much, very much trying your little your little hardest your your hearts out to hit the four thousand goal. 
Why would you think that? Well, the evidence suggests. How could it be? How could it be? Kalabwana pinches herself to keep calm. The 4,000 goal is I will do a 1,000 piece puzzle on stream. We'll do it together. I know that room well. We have searched every inch of it. Unless she was hanging on the ceiling right above us. This is 10 or 11. No, this is like 14. But as I said, she always... A Lacorus recoil, 1,000 piece puzzle. 14, thank you. Why are you saying bruh? The 5k goal is the one that will crush her soul. What's my 5k goal? Oh, whoops. I will read every HSR. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's fine. We're not going to hit that goal. To be someone who can smile knowingly at the argument. Why are you saying get ready? No. Knowing full well the thinking process behind. While staying close to other whispering opinions. Like a perfect observatory. From which we witness the events in the universe. <gasps> the fog has lifted. Maybe I've been in the wrong direction. She didn't make the star fall as revenge on the village. She looks up. The sky is completely cloudless, and the stars look just like the silver sand randomly scattered into the, Samad the Samudra by Vishnu. The sky in the realm when we met. She recalls the sky in the realm, which was like the surface of dusted glassware. Mr. Shemaine, she was not on the ceiling. Are you taking me seriously? That was just a joke to lighten up the mood. <laughs> He's so funny. But under the ground. Uh oh. Kalabwana pulls a photo slowly from her waist. It was soaked when she was in the vat. But now, it is almost dried by the bonfire. Remember the underground survival guide where we found this photo? She's right under that house. Um, no, no 5k on the way. Please save your money to pay your rent or your loans or, or your debt or literally your life. The street is empty. All the villagers have evacuated. There are only Manus followers wandering about at night. First to the corner. And the ones who have returned. This is crazy. It has gone beyond my imagination. Sorry, but you don't have to come with me. <sighs> Say no more on that. The two sneak from one corner to another. If you don't let me see my own sister, I will be dying for answers. Who would dig a basement here? That reminds me. Her curiosity is one of the... Well, the major reason she did that. It's possible that she was well prepared last time she came back to Morpham. I never thought she foresaw that we would be kicked out from the project. And as you just deduced, she did so to see that star? The star. Almost 100% sure. Without me, she must have asked the Manus to support her with arcane skills. This way. This way. This way. After avoiding the wandering Manus followers, they can almost see the entrance to the old house. 
Shiyu was extremely mentally unstable when she left me. I would be mentally it unstable if I left you. If the manners had the intention to recruit her. Watching the meteor shower and being destroyed by it has been her plan all along. At this point, it is hard to say who's worse, she or we, since we have prepared to die with her evil plan. However reluctant you guys I am act to like, admit this, you guys act like you're not any better when it comes to to call us Simpuri, okay? <laughs> it's like a madhouse party. <laughs> but uh, what did you teach Matilda before we left? Oh, I know that's not what she. I, I yeah, I know. I'm I'm deriving my own meanings. That's our only chance to survive in her realm. I came up with it when I was calculating the range of the fallen star damage. Gosh, she's so smart. Hmm. As I said, you are the tiger cub, trying to take a bite in the arm, even when the hunter has had you in her grip. That method was between Kumar and me. There is another theory according to my calculation. According to the calculations of servers, the realm might collapse. It's the only theory Kumar does know. At the same time, it is not yet strictly verified. But I have faith in that girl. She's indeed a genius. I hope it's not too late to make our last attempt. Hmm. If you mm. ask me, it's not yet the time to make that attempt. What? They are only two... They are only one step away from the old house. What whoa, whoa. A huge Shiva statue rises with a loud rumble. Ha ha! This must be the appetizer she served us! <sighs> Great Shiva! I hope your fists feel as light and crispy as Bonnie Puri when they land on my body. Time to fight! Oh no. It's fine, they're weak. Listen, I have one team built and one team built only. I brute force everything with my star team. Gonna fist Shiva. <laughs> we'll get Regulus's crit boost up. For everyone. Fragile. How dare you attack R -R -R Regulus? Okay. Um. All right. We're gonna debuff. Uh, counter. Stop me up. And stop me up. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> What? Excuse me. Kala Buanda. Yeah, Kala's not built yet. Okay, guys, I'm playing the game so I can get her mats, okay? I'm playing the event so I can get her, her mats. Of course my Regulus is strong. I'm a Regulus main. I built this team around, like, a nuke to, to, for nukage. Game. They're annoying, so we're just gonna use Regulus. We haven't finished chapter four yet. No, I want to play together eventually. Nice. Whenever I find time, you know. Nice. Uh, does it still count if you download it for PC? Yeah, of course. Should we be extra? Should I be extra? Are you ready to be blind? They're just little games. Are you ready to shake? She didn't say it. She did it? Yes. Great. Regulus? Was she not ready to shake? Why didn't she say anything? Re 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 Regulus, why are you not ready to shake? No 
shake for me. Ooh, what's going on? Oh my god, she's so pretty. <sighs> That's tough. Hey, look over there. The statue's attacks has left a crack in the floor of the old house. It is empty down there. Dude, she has so much stomach. Okay, listen. Listen, I don't simp for Regulus. Regulus is my child that I love and adore and like I want to protect with my life because she's adorable. Okay? Kala's hot. They are not the same. They are, they are not the same. Okay? They are different. My love for Regulus is purely platonic. I just adore Regulus. But Kala's hot, you know? So your love for Kala is... Lo Bro, she's just hot. <laughs> don't, don't, don't think too hard about it. Oh, who's humming? The shower is estimated to fall at 4 a.m. today. By then, the comet will also... Three and a half hours to go. Oh, almost forgot about this. Music. Oh, the basement. Oh, this music. Dude, this music. Ahem. In this dark, confined space, there arises a medley played on the violin. The place looks nothing like a livable space for humans. The walls, the tables, the floor, Every surface in sight is covered with paper of seamless formulas. The only expectation, the only exception, is a roughly plastered wall, which is full of symbols marking the passing of days. This, I'm sorry, the, 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 the violin, like, distracted me. An old telescope is standing in the mess pointing at the blocked sky. <coughs> you all right? Uh, I'm fine. It's not too high for me. Oh, baby. They slide down through the crack. Kalabwana gets back on her feet, patting the dust off of her. And then she freezes. <gasps> Come on. <gasps> Why is she? She's all gray now. What, what happened to you? Oh, well. I didn't expect so many visitors. She seems a bit absent-minded. But since you're here, please, take a seat. I built this place by myself. It's not a big room. And not soundproof. Yes. I heard you very clearly under the ground. When you searched the room and went through my stuff. What's wrong about an astronomer reading, calf feeding, and management? Aww. She paces around shakily, muttering to herself. You, you should have left. My plan has ch changed. But let it be. Let it be. What did they call this? Destiny? You know about destiny... Right, Palaborna. What 
watching the stars with me. Good. Good. It's like living the old days again. She turns around. Her gaze falls on Shemaine. Kumar, sister. <laughs> sister. Sister. The hit show from the 90s. A fleeting sneer appears on her lips. Kalabwana frowns deeply. You look much better in the realm. What did the manis do to you? The manis? Oh, they're fine. Helps me a lot. Impressive arcane skills. Experiment apparatus and... Food. Lots of food. Following Kumar's fingertip, they see a pile of nons in the corner, which are under a layer of unknown insects. These... Oh. Seems like she's no longer capable of commanding those wandering madness. He would have panicked, but he is calm this time. He reminds Kala Bana in a whisper. But the priority is to stop that star. We can deal with the rest. The star? You're going to stop the comet. Oh no. You are taking it from me. Again? Kumar? Ah! Uh, Kumar, who was absent-minded a second ago, seems to be triggered now. She suddenly pushes the two with enormous strength. I will never! The confined space starts melting. Ooh... The basement is no longer there. Instead, the space opens up, unfolding before them like the vast universe. Nebulas are churning beneath their feet like a colorful, harmless mist. Kumar stands in the void, like standing in the middle of a grand stage. Oh, this BGM goes hard. Erm. Um, girly pop. Mm, girly pop. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, Don't touch my bag! Don't touch my bag! Guys, watch this. Regulus is about to solo. Easy. kind of wild how many times in reverse 1999 we beat up children and old people i would argue any game or anime you're probably beating up a child or an old person how many times has deku been sent into the hospital i still can't believe mina only like blonde men in star rail she insisted on skipping every non-blonde man, so Hoyo had to force her to get one by unconsensually shoving one into her inbox. And unironically, I built that one, and he is very strong.
the new stargazers. I'm gonna throw up. <coughs> it feels strange in here. Oh no. Shemaine feels his legs weaken. He sinks to the floor. <coughs> Was that Master's face? I, I can keep up. It's hard to get used to it for the first time. She's so pretty. So... Panting unstably, Kalabwana is still staring at Kamar, who has regained elegance in the realm. I feel a lot better in here. I'm sorry, Kalabwana. I don't think this body of mine can hold any longer for a more appropriate meeting in the real world. I'm glad you came back for me. What I said was indeed too harsh. Kumar has turned back to herself. Kumar, why do you have to? Look at you. The price is too high. Ooh, I, see, I hear sad In piano. The first instance, I did have other intentions. I kept imagining how my so called parents would react when they were about to get crushed to pieces by the star. Little did I know, they have already paid for what they've done. Kumar casts a quick glance at her puking brother and looks back at Kala Buana. I worked myself to the bull, but who knew I would lose everything, including my purpose? It really sucks, but it's okay, just a minor setback. Compared to what I've been through, it's not even worth mentioning. That's why I changed my mind. I want to see it. To see it? The star we can't see with our eyes. Seems like I was not very careful about my wording when my mind was clouded. It is a celestial oh, she's body, crazy. Calabona, not a star. It could even be um... a moving black hole. Oh, she has the crazy eyes, you guys. I don't like this. Kamara lifts her palms like she has done so many times in Kalabuana's inquisitive, inquisitive gaze and in the lecture hall of the university. I'd rather you did this out of the hatred towards the people who abandoned you. Or even towards me. For I carelessly exposed my identity as an arcanist. And thus, you lost your... She's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it when she looks pouty. I wish the same. I wish so badly that I could just be filled with pure hatred towards someone. But I can't, kid. Once again, Kumar looks at Shemaine... He still feels d dizzy. You're the lucky one, young brother. I was going to kick your butt in our last encounter, but I just couldn't do it. But the man has made you. Kid, Banner University can get my name on the SCI list, but the madness allows me to touch the universe. They are not that different to me. Sister, mother told me about this. You physically can't take such a great amount of arcanum in you. The manis should also know this. But I love this piano. I appreciate that they remembered this about me. But this is the path I chose. Kumar looks down at the swirling nebula. And I look into the sky. I feel myself the freest being in the world. 
the universe. What a vast, life-embracing place it is. No matter if you're a canist or a human, even a grain of sand, it encompassed everything. But I was driven away from studying it, abandoned by my own family for some insignificant, unimportant reasons. should have understood this earlier, that my struggle means nothing on this planet. I'm tired, Kalapuna. Just want to see that celestial body with my own eyes. But Kumar? Kalabwana tries to stare into her eyes. That's not how you look at a star. The telescope shouldn't be placed in the basement, and you shouldn't lower your head. Kumar, how long has it been since the last time you looked up at the night sky, at the other stars? What's more? Kalabwana looks grave. If the star falls, people in the village, including those kids, none of them will survive. The madness you summoned here has brought disaster to this place, to the people and their families. They are not the sacrifice of your wish. Stop heading down the wrong path, Kumar. Weariness reigns over Kumar. She raises her eyebrows and shakes her head slowly, as if nothing matters to her anymore. You know what? I don't care about them. You know what? Pop off, Queen. Pop off. You know, you okay? Just like they've never cared about me. All right. They? Okay. Live your best life. Kumar denies her, like she did when Kalabwana pitched a terrible research proposal. Sorry. Please indulge me with one last word for act. As Kumar raises her hand, her arms, the stars in the realm form a straight line. This is the path I chose, and you can't stop me, Kalabona. Ona, Buana. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> Clear cracks from come from the depths of the universe, one after another. What? It's Matilda. They made it. Oh yeah. Viva la Matilda. That's our little French girl right here. Hurry, quickly. Do you understand? Yes. That's what Miss Calabona taught me to do. Hmm. But I can't see anything when my eyes are closed. No shit, Sherlock. Don't rely on the eyes. Hold this crystal and take a deep breath. I love my little French meow meow, my little baguette. The kids sit next to Matilda, forming an imperfect circle by the fire. Outside this little circle, the human kids are peering around curiously. Under the starry sky, the ones sitting by the fire take a deep breath and put their hands on a small idol. Do you feel, um, what she said? The change of the universe. The starry sky is completely quiet. <gasps> the meteor shower is starting earlier. Oh my god. What did you do? They spent their entire budget this this event on on Kala on on, on 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 Kala CGs. She has gotten so many amazing arts. Like this is insane. She's gotten at least like five like just close up beautiful shots of herself. Listen, she can't help that she's well endowed, okay? 
All right, Shemaine, no, Shemaine got two. That's true, but, but not like, but Kala's like go harder, you know? God, she's so pretty. <laughs> That's the matter I'd only once known between you and me, Kumar. The observation method. You told others about the celestial egg? So what? Uh, she stops herself. She always, she's always the clever one. I see. I see. You once pitched that research proposal to me. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, this BGM is nice. An almost gratified look appears on her face. You are indeed my best student, Calabona. I finally understand why you asked me to keep it a secret. Even if we named it Egg. It's actually a projection of the universe, which has the same feature. The universe is infinite. As long as we observe it self-consciously, think each of ourselves as one of the centers of the universe. The egg will then collapse because of multiple centers. Until it puts a quietus and everything, including that star. Bro, I okay. I'm not gonna lie. They start talking about science, and I start, I start not, I start not paying attention. A shattered mirror will never be pieced together again, if there are enough forces to break it. Am I right? Then, there was neither Bro, existence she can break me. nor non-existence. There was neither the realm of space, nor the sky beyond. Who could master these skills? Those old fogies in the village? A genius girl. And a bunch of kids who looked up at the stars. Oh. Oh. Just like you and me in the beginning, Kalabona's lips quietly move, but none of those words come out. I'm sorry, Kumar. Oh, I have to. No. We have to stop you this time. She's so pretty. I can't let you destroy more punk. They are not enemies. At least for now. This is not a confrontation. Or destroy yourself. <laughs> Alright, it's boss fight time. Oh no. Balance mode. Oh, okay. That's awesome. That's... Oh my god, that's awesome! Wait, that's so... It auto-put Voyager and Tooth Fairy to level 20? That's kind of crazy. And then it upped my, my side cubes to 60. Oh. I... Hold... Wait, hold on. I My brain didn't even think to use Kala. Hold on. Let me leave. Let me leave. Let me leave. Oh, I'm not reading. I'm not reading. I'm not reading. I'm not... Let me leave. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna exit? Yeah, yeah, um... Sorry, 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 I just, my brain didn't even, I, I didn't, I, I, okay, listen, I was really focused on the story. I'll replace Tooth Fairy with Kala. Hold your horses, I'm coming. Which psyche would, would work best for her? I'm, I, uh, uh, what does she do? She's a damage dealer. Well, I can't give her reguluses. Healing damage bonus. Should I give her uh, clicks? I'm gonna give her clicks. Melania's. This one. The one from Voyager, but that's Voyagers. But then who do I give Voyager? I'll give her a click, uh, uh, clicks. Okay. 
Okay. Those five giant spears. Are they? Are they? Oh my god, we're doing the boss fight. <gasps> Let's get to and row. Come on. You. Even the infortune may reverse what's irreversible. Either do it quickly, or hold her off. The realm will collapse once the observation starts. And I believe in Matilda. Don't rush in. She seems to be waiting as well. She's accumulating power. Hmm. The marks on her. My chat. As the nebula collapses, no watching eyes will survive the destruction. Using Kala's skills gives her buff, single target gives penetration, AoE gives attack leech, ultimate gives damage boost. But okay. you should remember, it's not eyes that our observation relies on. No. As it is. Your ending is fate. Okay. For everyone. Hmm. Hope I remember. It's happening. My Regulus has a lot more damage. Erm. Um, excuse me. Okay, we're gonna debuff. Um, they're just little games. They're just little games. Start me up. Meeting. Did you have one of the coolest ults? I'll, I'll try to get to it. Rock, rock, rock. Change the world. Hope I remember. Oh god damn, this girl has such good resistance on. Um. Um. We'll do one of these. Relax. That's not the one I meant. Try to give her an ult. As expected. Oh, I should probably debuff first, actually. No Your ending is fated. Um. Please, don't resist. It's happening. Did I give her two charges? Please. What the hell? Listen. For everyone. Oh. Really? Oh, whoopsie. Wow, you're so right. I just don't read. It's fine. Erm, um, I want to get her ult up, please. Regulus is going to solo this. Just little games. Regulus is like a little... Stop she's like up. a little solo machine, you know? I want to save her ult. Hmm. There's more phases, right? Oh my god, there's two of them. Alright, we got everyone's ults up. Excuse me, don't attack her. Um, excuse me, leave her alone. Um, if the target's in confusion, it deals 100% more mental damage. Uh, be faithful to the choice of fate. Are you ready to be? No, I have it. Oh, I have it targeted the wrong person. Oh, I targeted Every the wrong person.
it, it didn't kill them. Stars. It didn't kill the. Oh shit, it does so they have their their this is like level one, god damn. Really? Sucker, I got my rock and roll up. Yes, yeah, sucker. Yes, yeah, sucker. Alright, alright. We're actually gonna swap a Rooney, see what see what's going on here. We're gonna do a lovely little debuff. And then we are going to do another lovely little debuff. And then we're That's going to attack. And then we're gonna do another I attack while I try Thank to get rock, uh, Restless Heart on Regulus. Goodbye. We're almost on phase two, boys. Erm. Erm. That was rude. Just saying. Why? Why are you treating me this way? Why? Why are you treating me this way? Um, no, you, mm, no, we're not gonna let you do that. I'm not gonna let you do that. You're, you're gonna, you're, you're not gonna ult, Miss Ma'am. You're not gonna ult. Oh. Oh. Oh, it cracked. Uh, I'm scared. Uh, don't touch my bag. Um. Oh. Why, why, why can't I study this? Why did you take it away? Oh, sister. I only wanted to see that star. Why did you stop me? Why? Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a that was a big scream. Kind of sad. That was gonna heal. Relax. I need some peaceful moments. Relax. I need some peaceful moments. As it is. Relax. I need some peaceful moments. Your ending is fated. <laughs> Hope I remember. Oh yeah, everyone has their ults up. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna Relax. debuff. Be to Are you ready thing. to be okay. blinded? You. Are you ready to be blinded? Did I attack the wrong person again? I could have swore I picked the middle. I picked the middle. Everything has its cause and effect.
I love throwing. I I love throwing personally. It's it's one of my favorite things to do. It's it's one of my favorite uh, pastimes actually. Your own thing is fated for everyone. Please. Regulus' whole vibe is so ill-fitting with the tone of this. I don't worry about our, our little radio pirate, okay? She's perfect. I mean, I'm gonna win. I, I, I just simply um, keep misclicking. Forcing us to leave the research data behind. So that you can make it yours? Oh, who's she talking to? Who's she talking to? In a peaceful moment. Stop me up! They're just little okay. games. A two, show a two, show it all falls down. Woohoo! Release! Rock, rock, rock. Okay, we won. If I can push it a little further, I have lost everything. Oh, I, I don't understand. You don't need to understand, Queen. Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> You're ridiculous. It's so tone deaf. <laughs> Last chapter. Neither day nor night. Regulus. It's about to collapse. Oh no. To go now. Come on. Come on. She extends her arm as far as possible, reaching for that figure. A giant rock falls between them. Kamar is lost in her sight. Oh no. The shabby basement has completely collapsed. Moonlight floats down through the ceiling that no longer exists. <coughs> Mr. Shemaine, you covered me. Aw, Shemaine. He pats the dust off his shoulder. I'm fine. She didn't ask if you were fine. She just said, oh, you covered me. <laughs> he looks in the other direction. Kalabona follows his gaze and sees Kumar. Oh no. Ready. The ragged woman with gray hair looks up slowly at the night sky. Several meteors are crossing the sky with glaring tails. Her realm has gone. Taking that falling star with it. Tonight, only the meteor shower will sparkle in the sky. Kumar! Kumar! Kalabona, who is also ragged, staggers towards the star. Tag Staggered towards the one staring at the night sky. She's haunted by an ominous feeling. Faster, even faster, get to her side like she used to. Come on. Finally, 
Kalabona holds Kamar's hand. I'm still here, Kamar. How about we go back first? Go back? Yes, go back to the institution, to the university. <sighs> she cannot continue. It seems Kamar can no longer understand her words. She just frowns and stares at her in confusion. Suddenly, she relaxes her eyebrows and smiles while shaking her head. There's no place I can go back to. Yes, there is. You can stay at my place. You can use my lab. We can start over. Aww. Sure. Really? You will? Let's go then. Leave this place first. Kalabona gets up quickly and holds Kumar's arms in her arm in hers. She drags Kumar to leave, seemingly afraid that Kumar may change her mind. But there are some papers I need to take with me. Let go of my arm. Says Kumar behind Kalabona. She sounds quite relaxed. Okay. Somehow, Kalabona dares not look back. She can only look up at Shemaine's face. Mr. Sharma, Kumar says she'll come with us. She just needs to take some papers. It won't take long. He slowly shakes his head. Shemaine never feels this calm. He looks at his sister, but he feels he is looking at someone else. He is looking at a weary soul, waiting for her final salvation. She is his last kin, and he is going to respect her decision. Then there was neither death nor immortality. There was neither day nor night. Everyone has a place to go back to. What a nice world to live in. Kumar is familiar with the space, even if it's a ruin now. She reaches a corner. It's the only item she's ever asked from Mana's Vindicte. And for now, for the second time, second and last time, she places her hand on it. Um. I hope when the universe constructs me for a second time, I will not come to this world again. So this is what Chandigarh look like. It's Slay! I don't think I could guess what the line after this would be in my entire life. I don't think I could ever have guessed that this would be the next line after someone committing suicide in a story. It's Slay. What? What's this? Candy? This way. Come over here. Oh my god. The once rugged paths have been turned into smooth roads. 
In this new city, the villagers still carry on their old customs. Candles have lit up every street for the new immigrants on this spring night. Ah! So you're only in the system? No wonder they made you go through so many procedures earlier. <laughs> what? So you was just Ruki? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make a face to me? Stop right there, Alex! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sherja and Mr. Sharma, thank you so much for helping our staff. Thank you so much um, for helping our staff. Me. I just did what I could. No, madam. We've ascertained your achievement. Aww. Before this incident, you volunteered to help over 10 arcanists and human children. And this time, you rescued more than 30 arcanists. That's remarkable, madam. The woman in the foundation uniform seems to be smiling at Sherja and passes over a gray envelope. What's this? A letter of introduction to the St. Pavlov Foundation. Oh! I'm sure you know our branch in Shandagar is already under construction. Such a responsible and caring human member like you will be very welcome. Oh! Please do consider this opportunity. The Foundation member rummages through the materials in her hand. According to the record, there's one more arcanist who also provided help for us in this mission. So, where is Miss Calabona? Oh, she's... She's in her depresso mode. Sherja turns around. Kanjira is gone too. That's weird. Well... She suddenly realizes something. I think it's not a good time for her. They will be back after the meteor shower. Bum, bum, bum. I can't believe she killed herself. I guess it's like a twist where like not all villains can be um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, meteor shower! So many of them as the news mentioned. I wish I can have my stomach full every day when I go to school. Yes, why don't you take tea even so it's good for you? All right, people. I don't like be Matilda. Greedy. One wish only. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Alveda, Kumar. Bro, she's so pretty. Wait, we don't even get a proper resolution. The other girl just killed herself and we're just ending it there? Like... So, okay, literally, okay, 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 so Kumar didn't get the ending she wanted, and instead of dealing with the consequences, she's like, you know what, I'm out, I'm out, I'm, that's it, that's it, and Kala holding the, like, the bullet, I know, but still, also Kala's really hot, oh, hi, Numi, which year we updated? But, oh my god. She didn't slay hard enough. I think she slayed pretty hard. I think she played- I, I, th I think she- I think she slayed. I thought she was holding Matilda's, uh, pendulum. Bro. 
<laughs> you mean it slay. Oh my god, you're so right. It slay. Now chapter four. No, 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 no. We need to go to sleep soon because the live stream's at 5 a.m. So we're gonna need to, you know, prepare for that. Dude. Oh my god. I'm like, oh my god. I'm, I'm, my brain is, that's crazy. I need to look at, I need to look at, at Kala being hot. One second. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm recovering. I'm, 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 re I'm recovering right now, you guys. I, I'm recovering, I'm recovering. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> We're recovering from the hot art. Holy shit, dude. That was good. That was actually a really good event. I definitely think there was there was portions where it was really slow, but I think that just comes from the characters in this story being a lot more calm and reserved versus in the last event. I think it was a little bit more all over the place because we had a lot of big personalities in that event, like Blonnie and uh, like Horopedia and like Tooth Fairy. How many characters have they killed in this game? Like Schneider. And now, and now Kumar. Have they killed anyone else that I, I can't remember? Oh yeah, the kids. They did kill a bunch of kids. The Ring and Isabella, yeah. Mr. Carson! Schneider also killed a couple of people. Yeah, but she was, you know, she was girl bossing. It was fine. She was just gatekeep girl boss gaslighting. Oh, yeah, so the Beast Butler and, and Schneider's sister as well. I downloaded Reverse because of you, and you also got the guaranteed six star. Nice! Which one did you get? Bro, this was really good. This was really good. All right. All right, you guys. We, we're going to end it here for tonight because we're going off of the, our deal. We're, we're going off of our deal, you guys, okay? Our, our promised deal. Why am I so much over there? We're going off of our promised deal. All right, you guys? Um, I'll pause the timer. How do I pause the timer? Actually, that's a great question. I think I'm, I'm going to have to remember the time. I'm going to... No, it's already midnight. The live stream is at 6 a.m. I want, I want time to sleep. So I'm not exhausted. So I'm going to pause the timer. 71.29. Okay, yeah. Can I? Is, can I? No, there's just the start reset. There's no pause button. Okay. Um. We're gonna pause the timer. Um. I'm gonna write it down. Uh, seventy-one twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Yeah, for my own record. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um. After the live stream, I'm going to stream it on YouTube. After that live stream, we'll start up on Twitch again. And and we will... And I'll, 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 we'll recontinue the timer from then. Sound good? Sounds good, gamers? Everything sounds good? I'll see you on the Star Rail live stream tomorrow over on YouTube. We're not going to raid just because we'll, you're going to see me in a few hours anyway. But yeah, uh, live stream's going to be over on YouTube for the, for the 2.0. And then afterwards, I'll see you here on Twitch, and we will resume the timer. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.